Hey guys, so we are back again with another reading and this one is all about what are people's fantasies about you. So it's kind of like when someone sees you or meets you, what do they fantasize about? What would they be thinking about? Um, we're not just going to focus on one particular person's fantasies, but more like the collective. What kind of fantasies do you inspire in people? What do they imagine about you? What do they kind of fill in the blanks in their head about you about? Um, so we're keeping it very open-ended. It could be literally anything it could be they fantasize that you read a lot and that you love to travel and bake a really delicious apple pie or it could be something a little more risque so we're gonna see what spirit brings up in terms of the fantasies that people have with you so I am really excited because I do have a new camera for this reading I figured I would bring out you know the big camera and actually use it so let me know what you guys think this time and then we have these beautiful cakes as well and they are in beautiful different colors so if you guys already feel drawn to one feel free to skip ahead to that pile but I'll show you guys the numbers of each of them so we have pile number one number two number three number four and number five and I'm gonna show you guys what they look like up close as well so the camera might take a second to focus but this is pile number one Okay, perfect. So this one is red, maybe it's strawberry or maybe cranberry. Then we have a pile number two. This one is probably blueberry. It has a delicious cashew on top, although it says chocolate. Maybe it's chocolate in the middle, like chocolate center. Then we have a pile number three. This one is orange. It also says chocolate on it. So again, maybe an orange filling. I know chocolate and orange is a popular combo. Then we have pile number four. This one is blue. I'm guessing it might be blue raspberry. It also has cherries on top and a little card that says good times. Hope you enjoy this delicious dish. So a sweet message. And finally, pile number four. This one is green. It looks like there's a star fruit on the top and it says for you so super sweet message and it might be kiwi flavored or matcha or pistachio maybe but it could be star fruit as well let me refocus this um, but anyway hopefully you guys already feel drawn to a pile but if you need more time to decide you can definitely rewind and take as much time as you need to make up your mind but we are going to go ahead and jump into pile one Hey pile one, so if you guys picked this red cake, this is going to be your reading. So I want to show you guys a little card on top. It has pictures of strawberries and it also says kiss at the very bottom. So it's a very romantic cake, I think. It might be strawberry flavored or I could see cranberry too because it looks like that's a cranberry on top of the whipped cream dollop. It has that beautiful mirror glaze, a ribbon on the side, and just an adorable, perfect little pastry. So the first thing that's coming to mind is that you guys have three major arcana cards, the sun, the chariot, and the world. So I can see that you guys are a very powerful, strong force to be reckoned with. And with the queen of swords, you guys are also highly intelligent. People are noticing this power and this strength you give off. And I feel like it plays a large role in people's attraction to you is because they kind of know that they have to come correct with you guys because you're not the type of person to suffer fools or tolerate bad behavior. You guys might even some of you have a pretty sharp wit or sharp tongue or you're that kind of person that will like call someone out when they're talking crazy. Um, you guys also just come off as very smart, like that person that, you know, always knew all the answers in school or always had, you know, done the assigned reading. I'm hearing understood the assignment, you know, so it's just like you guys are very smart. You guys are very intelligent. And I feel like it's kind of like an accomplishment to get your approval because you don't approve of everyone. You're that kind of person that might even keep their circle small or isn't just going to open up to anyone. You're not that person that's going to, going to go on a date with someone that is offering you like an Applebee's two for one coupon, like they need to come with their best behavior and actually, you know, approach you in the correct way. And so I think a lot of people are very impressed by you. Another thing that's coming through is that you guys have 10 of wands energy. So I feel like you guys have put a lot of hard work into your life. A lot of you guys are pretty accomplished with the four of pentacles coming through as well. So there's this aspect of you guys that like gets things done. And I feel like you, like I said, you're a force to be reckoned with. Um, a lot of people like have respect for how you conduct yourselves and see you as someone who's going to achieve a lot of things, a lot of success with the sun. 
you guys also might be like center of attention type energy. Like a lot of people just pay attention to you, know what's going on in your life. Maybe you have an active social media or something, but a lot of people are focused on you, care about what you guys are up to with the world coming through. Definitely it could be social media. You guys also might be very well traveled or might be from another culture or just highly educated about the world. Like maybe you're that person that listens to news from other countries or, you know, listens to content that comes from other cultures and you're very open minded. But I just keep getting like intelligent, worldly, sophisticated. Like you guys are not just, I mean, even if you're from a small town, you don't come off really that way. You come off as someone that like, you know, I want to say has been around the block, but not in a bad way. Not like, oh, you you know, you've been downtrodden or something, just like you have this like experience around you, you know, you guys know what's up. You're not um, a naive, gullible, like young type of mind that's just willing to accept anything. So I think a lot of people, again, they're intimidated by you. I think a lot of people maybe would even like to be close to you, but you are that type of person that they would be afraid that, you know, you might reject them pretty harshly with the queen of swords coming in. You're not necessarily going to be someone that's going to, um, just tolerate any old request but I also want to get some music for you guys and see what kind of songs are coming up for you guys so let's get the first one I love my little mug by the way okay so we have okay Nicki Minaj super bass and then we have daylights by Taylor Swift so I love that song then we also have oh ape you know I can't say the full song because, um, you know, YouTube rules, but eight by Beyonce and Jay-Z. And then we have love my way by the psychedelic furs. And finally we have another Nicki Minaj song right through me. So a lot of Nicki Minaj energy, maybe some of you guys are barbs. I know I have some barbs that, you know, watch my content. So maybe some of you guys are in this group again, and I'm definitely seeing that Nicki Minaj energy because I feel like she is that type of person that so many people have tried to come for her or try to get into arguments with her, but she always like verbally puts them into place. Like, honestly, I love the song did it on him. And it's just such a harsh song, you know, and like her raps are just so insane verbally in that, like the rhymes and everything. So I just feel like you guys are that person that someone, if they start a beef with you, they know that you would finish it. You know, you are not someone that's like a pushover or someone that they feel like they could just easily win you over. I feel like your attention, your respect is very hard won, you know, and so people know that they respect you. And so it's like, if you give the approval to someone by dating them or being in a relationship with them, that is like a gold medal to them. That's how people see you. And so it's like, you're kind of like a prize because of that. And you know, there's a lot of strong like I feel like that strong kind of female energy for a lot of you guys coming through you might be the masculine version of this as well but I mean we have Nicki Minaj coming up twice we have Taylor Swift we have Beyonce so these are all kind of glamorous attractive beautiful women that I also feel like are pretty strong and independent and like will get into an argument if someone mentions their name. I mean, you know, Taylor and Nikki, they will both stand up for themselves. They are both those energies that like if someone, you know, wants to call them out, they're going to clap back. And I feel like Beyonce doesn't necessarily do that, but she doesn't really have to, you know, but I mean, I feel like she would in her own way if she was going to. But I mean, how much more powerful can you get? I feel like you guys just are that very strong, fierce person that is never going to tolerate bad behavior, never is going to doubt themselves, very confident. And with Love My Way, what's coming to mind is like things get done your way. You're not going to allow someone to make you, you're not that person that's like, I'll fit into your little bubble, whatever you want from me, I'll do it. Like, just please accept me. No, people need to be coming correct for you and doing things your way and it's kind of like my way or the highway but I feel like a lot of the people that are into you are into you because of that they like the fact that you're feisty that you have a strong attitude they're not turned off by that they're turned on by it and also what's coming to mind is for a lot of you guys I feel like you have had a very deep love relationship because we got super base we got right through me um, a lot of you guys may have been loved deeply by someone or you just come off as someone that like would attract a deep love relationship because again I think a lot of this is like 
again, you come off as a bit of a prize, like someone who would have a lot of admirers, would have a lot of suitors, but wouldn't be necessarily, you know, just going for the first person that offers them a date would be pretty picky. And another thing that's coming to mind is with Daylight by Taylor Swift, a lot of you guys might have been through some hardships. You might have been through some really difficult periods in your life and some stress because to me that song is about coming out of like the bad times into the really beautiful times, moving away from the pain into the goodness. And and so I feel like there's something about you guys that maybe you guys have been through hardship in your life. You might have been through a lot of stress or some kind of difficulty had people come against you, but I feel like you kind of wear that as a mantle. Like you haven't let it bring you down. Instead of letting that bog you down, you guys just have like risen up and become that much stronger. So I feel like um, there's just a strength running through you guys really strongly. So let's get some more cards for you guys. So we got serendipity. We got regeneration, exchanging gifts, and all the glitters. So that makes a ton of sense with that regeneration card because that was kind of just what I was talking about where you guys have risen from the ashes and come out of it. You know, you guys have been through stuff, but you're just as strong or you're even stronger than you were before. You know, you have not let that burn you down. Instead, you've come back like a phoenix and risen out of it. So um, I feel like people can tell that like maybe you didn't have the easiest life or maybe you have had to fight but it's like you came out of it you know just this absolutely strong I'm seeing Thanos from um from you know those Avengers movies I have not seen any of them with him in it so I don't know but I know he's really strong and powerful so it's like I feel like you guys have had like hardship that you had to deal with, but you come out of it so much stronger. I feel like with serendipity, like I said, you guys are pretty intimidating. So I feel like a lot of the people that have crushes on you and fantasize about you, they also have a fantasy of like running into you because they're not going to be bold enough to actually send you that text being like, hey, I have a really big crush on you. I'd like to take you out on a date. Would you ever go on a date with me? Like that would be too bold for them because they would be afraid almost that you would like reject them or like be really harsh to them I feel like like because you guys are strong verbally there's that fear that like you would like annihilate them and just be like you you're a total loser I'm up here you're down there um so I feel like some people hold themselves back from actually approaching you so instead of doing that they come up with like these fantasies in their mind of like okay I'm gonna run into them in the coffee shop then I'm gonna you know we're going to reach for the same cup of coffee at the same time. Then I'm going to be like, oh, hey, I can't believe this. Remember when you were in college together? And like, you know what I mean? They have all these fantasies of like random bumping into you, the universe bringing you together because then they can play it off because they definitely don't want to come in too hot with you because again, you guys are just so... um fearsome that like they're a little bit they're a lot bit intimidated I'll be honest with exchanging gifts and all the glitters there's a super strong wealth energy flowing through this chart and flowing through this energy you guys are that you're a little bit bougie like or at least that's how you guys are perceived as someone who you know is probably that kind of person that like comes onto a plane with like matching luggage and like designer bags or designer clothes or everything you own is like well put together. You might have like a nice car or something. If you guys aren't there yet, that's definitely the trajectory you're on and how people perceive you. Maybe you're still, you know, not not financially that well off, but people can see that that's the path you're on and people can see that that's what you would expect in a partner and that, you know, if they're not there yet, again, and this is like a lot of people are intimidated by you. A lot of people feel like they don't have what you need, um, you know, in a partner. So like they don't have, they're not on your level yet, or they're not on the level of the person you would accept in your life, but they see you as someone who is on this trajectory to major success and who is someone who's going to be doing financially very well. I feel like you guys have a lot of Venus energy in your charts or um, just in your path right now, you guys have a lot of wealth and abundance coming in and you are that person that would expect to go out to like a steakhouse. You are not going to be clipping coupons and hanging out at the pizza hut, like, you know, just splitting a dollar slice with someone like they need to be taking you out and getting you that steak or if you're vegan, you know, getting you some like vegan enchiladas at the nice vegan spot and 
and and coming correct because we're not going to tolerate anything less in this pile one I can already tell so this is how people perceive you this is their fantasies like I feel like people fantasize about getting their financial situation together and picking you up in like a really high-end car and you know if they if they don't have the Ferrari you're not gonna be so interested so yeah I think a lot of people's fantasies about you are pretty bougie like I feel like you guys, I don't want to say trophy wives, but that's what's coming to mind. Like you guys are a little bit of a status symbol because I don't know, you just come off as very attractive. And I feel like if someone's dating you, like even if they were taking you to Applebee's, people would be like, dang, like how did that guy get that girl in the Applebee's? <laughs> no offense to Applebee's, by the way. I do like Applebee's. I'm not trying to like come for them. Um, I'm just, it's just coming to mind. I don't know. Um, like I think once in a while, you know, it can be a fun night out or whatever. I'm just saying, um, you know, I feel like people would be surprised to see like they, they just expect you guys to be hanging out at like Nobu or going to a really high end place or just like that, you know, you're going to be dating kind of like ballers or pro athletes or someone who's like high end or if you're a masculine watching this interested in you know feminines maybe they would expect that you would be with you know a model or something like that but like being seen out with you is a status symbol and I feel like a lot of the people that do fantasize about you they fantasize about others seeing you guys together like they want to tell everyone they want the whole town to know that you guys are dating they're not going to keep you on the DL okay they want if they could put like an announcement in the newspaper and like get it on the national news put a book billboard they would be doing that <laughs> so like people want to be seen with you people see that you guys um make a really good impression on people and I feel like again it's because you are combining this natural beauty sun center of attention energy leo energy libra energy that you have combined with queen of swords so you're not just that person that's like oh they look really good but you know they're kind of an airhead like no you guys are also very smart but you're also very attractive so you are that person that has it all you're kind of like that wifey you don't just cover one side of the equation of someone who's like cute but you know, has a lot of other lacking qualities. You guys are the person they could bring to their work function or the person they could bring home to mom. But you're also that person that like all their friends are going to be impressed with like, dang, you're dating them. They're really hot, you know? So yeah, these are a lot of people's fantasies. Let's get some more cards. So we got healing, we got stargazing and we got inner child. So you guys are kind of the star in this stargazing card. In my opinion, you guys Honestly, I feel like a lot of Leo energy is coming through and that you guys just naturally are the center of attention, whether you try to be or want to be or not. That's just something that naturally happens for you guys is like people pay attention to you. And I feel like that's another reason why so many people are drawn to you is like maybe I feel like a lot of you guys would attract like kind of like that quiet type that might not have that much status themselves. So they fantasize and dream about being with you because being with you is like instant clout, instant attention attention, instant power, instant everything. So a lot of people are like, wow, if I could date them, like everything in my life would be easy. Everything in my life would be great. And people would finally realize my own status. So I feel like a lot of you guys aren't even aware of the people that have crushes on you or imagine being with you because honestly, you guys might even attract like quiet type of people that like aren't that outgoing and aren't the type to approach you because they see and they like how loud you guys are and how much power you guys bring to the equation. With healing, again, you guys have been through it. Some of you guys have had hard lives. Some of you guys have had to grow up in difficult situations or just been through different things that strengthened you and turned you into the person you are today. And people see that, but they are drawn to it. They're not like looking down at that like, oh, I can't believe they went through that. Oh, that's kind of sad. Like they're like, wow, oh, this person's strong. Okay. I need to, I need to come correct. And I honestly keep seeing Bethany Frankel in my mind. So, um, I feel like, I don't know, she's just coming up over and over. And I know, like, I feel like she has a really sharp tongue. And like, sometimes someone will verbally argue with her on like Real Housewives of New York. And every time she wins, like no contest, every time she wins, I like, I feel like she could out argue like anyone. She's such a good arguer. And I feel like a lot of people, you know, might underestimate her being like, oh, she's just like this housewife or something. But she always, she always knows what to say. And so that's what's coming up for you guys. And I feel like she did have a rough upbringing. She had like a hard time when she was a kid or whatever. And so I feel like there's something about that that really strengthens people. And you guys kind of carry that as this mantle. With inner child, I feel like a lot of people would imagine that you would make a great parent. Because for a lot of you guys, 
again, you've been through so much yourselves that you guys know how to great make a good parent. You guys would be protective. You guys would be so loving, so sweet, so understanding. Like, I just think you guys would know how to like protect someone. You guys would know um, how to care and look after someone. And I feel like any child like in your custody or in your care you know, they would be very well looked after. So let's get some additional features that your person might fantasize or perceive you as having. So the first one we've got is going to be alternative. Okay. We also got well educated. Okay. That definitely makes sense for you guys. Then we have silent type. Okay. Skinny. You definitely seem like you can take care of yourselves. I'll say that. Then we also have rich. Yes, that's very true. And next is extroverted. Okay. For sure. Then we have traditional. Then we also have pale that might not be for everyone. And finally we have creative. So I made these for my future spouse video, but I definitely feel like a lot of these apply to you guys. These are features I definitely would associate with you guys. Not everyone has necessarily all of these, but the overall vibe definitely fits of someone who is highly educated, highly intelligent, someone who is well on the path to success and abundance and just makes a really good impression on people. I feel like you guys are perceived as someone who has a very active mind, someone who is very um, intelligent. Like you're, you're not just um, book smart, but you're also creative. You have a lot of things going on in your head. I feel like you guys are just a good conversationalist. And I feel like in a way, even though we have extroverted and then silent type, that makes sense to me because I feel like you guys are that type that are probably pretty extroverted, like with your friends, but then with people who don't know you, you might be perceived as being a silent type or as being someone who you know doesn't talk very much or just keeps to themselves I feel like I don't want to say ice queen but that's coming to mind like at first when you meet someone you might not talk a lot you might be like mm -hmm, nice to meet you okay anyway but once you know someone you really well like you won't shut up you guys will just be talking up a storm like you guys will always have something to say and I feel like in a way you're not afraid to talk to people when you first met them. It's not like you're like shy or nervous or like, you know, you don't know what to say. It's just that you're not always going to be the friendliest because I'm hearing I keep my circle small. I feel like you guys just, like I said, you're not just out here looking for anyone to fill your time. You're not looking for like, I just want to be friends with, you know, absolutely anyone who shows up. You guys are a little bit more selective or that's how people perceive you as. Like, I feel like a lot of you guys honestly might, be kind of popular or at least be perceived as that like almost like hard to get exclusive you know like that nightclub in town that like they're like usually the best nightclub in town is not just letting anyone in the door you know they're actually turning a lot of people away there actually is going to be a line outside and like you know a, a door guy and um, maybe some velvet ropes and like not everyone is allowed in and that's kind of you guys like I just feel like it's it's exclusive it's hard to get not everyone has access to you and I feel like a lot of people really like that about you I feel like a lot of people are excited about that by you they feel like if they were to be the ones to actually win your approval that like I said it would be like validation like a huge prize to them so I feel like a lot of you guys um you not you might not be aware of this effect you have on people and how many people just see you as like I said, um, hard to get a prize, someone that they would have to put a lot of effort into obtaining, um, being around and someone who's really making something of themselves or made something of themselves. So let's get some additional cards for you guys. So we do have the silver waterfall as well as connection. So looking at the connection card and combining it with the world, to me, it just looks like a beautiful tropical vacation or something like, look at this. I just feel like they are on a beach, like having mimosas, having some tropical drinks, just having a good time. Maybe they're in the Bahamas or the Virgin Islands or the Maldives, but it just looks like an expensive, nice trip. So does the silver waterfall to me. Like I feel like a lot of people fantasize about traveling with you guys. I'm seeing those beach huts on like stilts over the water, something like that. Like again, I feel like high-end vacations. Like people just imagine that you're that type of person that, you know, like I said, would have matching luggage and would have like a traveling outfit that would be like really glamorous and gorgeous. Like you're not on the plane in 
sweats and, you know, looking a mess and like disheveled. You guys are that person that would look absolutely gorgeous no matter where you guys go. So I feel like a lot of people would fantasize about what that would look like or about taking you somewhere and, you know, um, how that would be like waking up next to you in a beautiful hotel, something like that. Because I feel like, again, you guys also are that person that feels like you would expect the best. So you guys would expect to stay at like the Ritz Carlton or the Four Seasons or somewhere really nice. You guys would not just be posted up inside like a roadside motel. They would have to go that extra mile and get you like the nice room service breakfast or whatever. So I feel like a lot of people fantasize about like reaching that financial point where they can take you to different places or they can go with you to different places. Um, maybe some of you guys, I know I have my masculine viewers. So some of you guys, if you're into, you know, women, maybe you guys would want to be on the other side of that. Maybe you would want to travel with her or she's like, oh my gosh, he seems like he would be amazing to travel with. Like, I feel like he would be such a gentleman. He just has this amazing access to things. Like, I just feel like there's something exciting about this pile to travel with as well. Like, obviously people don't just fantasize about traveling with a boring person. It's also about their personality. It's about like, you know, the kind of reactions they would have to going different places, the vibe. I just feel like you guys are very exciting. I feel like you guys could make anything interesting, but you also do everything very high end and people are really into that. And I feel like a lot of these people who are fantasizing about you, like let's be real, they have a lot of romantic interest in dating you. Their interest in being with you is very much like, you know, physical and being into you in that sense. Like not just, um, not just, going on like a, a amusement park ride with you while you guys travel but like waking up next to you in bed and all those kind of activities hotel room activities I'm actually going to post more of like a fantasy um like R or 18 plus video on my patreon about this so if you guys want to check that out you can check that out but yeah I gotta keep it peachy for YouTube so for right now I'll just say that um I feel like yeah like hotel room is definitely a vibe for this reading. So let's get some additional cards for you guys. So we do have career as well as psychic abilities. So I already mentioned that you guys feel like you are just on the way up with your career and a lot of people can tell this. And I feel like this is one of the reasons why people just respect you and want to be along for the journey. They can see that you're destined for abundance and success, but I don't want to talk too much about it. I don't want to like feed it at horse. So anyway, we also have psychic abilities. So you guys, I feel are very psychic. Honestly, a lot of people in this card and I'm getting a message to the this is why some of you guys are so discerning and instantly able to read people. I'm honestly, you know, I picked up on a lot of fire sign energy in this reading. So that's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but I also have picked up on a little Capricorn and honestly, Scorpio as well. Scorpio is coming to mind. The ancient ruler of Scorpio is Mars. In the modern day era, it is Pluto, but you know, it makes sense that we're picking up on some Mars energy, some aggressive energy. And the thing about Scorpio is they combine that with psychic abilities. So, a lot of times when someone has psychic abilities, that might come from Neptune. Neptune doesn't really vibe well with Mercury, and that's why Mercury is debilitated in Pisces. So, all that to say is that a lot of psychic people can sometimes come across like kind of spacey when they're talking or have trouble getting their words together. But for you guys, you guys combine psychic abilities with being very well spoken and knowing exactly how to read someone. And again, what's coming to mind is Bethany Frankel. She's like a quadruple Scorpio or something. She has Scorpio all over her chart. And like I said, I think that's why she has the absolute best insults is because she combines the intelligence she has verbally with like psychic abilities. So you guys are definitely like this force to be reckoned with and people love it. Like people are just drawn to this and Scorpio is an extremely sexually attractive sign. So I'm not surprised at all. Um, yeah, they're like, they literally, you know, rule that area. So it definitely makes sense that people are so attracted to you, but let's get some additional cards for you guys. So the first one is cane and we have lion vase claw staff jug and skull. So, I mean, Wow, there's a lot of energy coming here. And I just got to say, like with this claw staff cane, again, I'm trying to keep this reading PG for YouTube, but some of these people, they always come through trying to push it into like our territory. I can't really go there. But like what's coming to mind with you guys is, again, I feel, feel like people have a lot of fantasies about hmm, these areas. Like, I don't know how to describe them, but I'm just saying that 
you know, um, I really can't even get into this because I'm really trying to keep it PG. I'm going to, I am going to cover some of this on my Patreon. Um, but you know, I feel like you guys just come off as someone that would be exciting in the bedroom. <laughs> I'll say that. I feel like you guys seem like you're fiery, feisty, you know, my, some might say dominant. I don't know. Just, I feel like you guys come off like someone who knows what they're doing and is like, you know, they need to come correct. Like in that sense, like I feel like there's people that just kind of want to please you in that sense. So I'm not getting into it. We're keeping it all very PG guys. I'm not getting into it. I'm not getting myself into trouble, but I'm just saying, um, that's something that I feel like a lot of people are attracted to in you. So we also got that lion Leo energy coming through so strong and vase secret admirers. I feel like again, Again, I mentioned it before, a lot of your admirers are keeping themselves secret because they're very intimidated by you. You're not someone they feel comfortable sliding in the DMs with or sending some random text at 2 a.m. being like, hey, what are you up to? Um, they just know that you wouldn't be the type to tolerate that. So they're keeping themselves in the shadows and kind of hiding away. I feel like you'd be surprised by a lot of these people who are into you. You'd be like, them? Them? Huh? him like you would not even know how many people do like you guys and then I also want to mention with skull what's coming to mind is a lot of y'all have really beautiful bone structure I'm seeing like high cheekbones or I don't know something about a brow bone like I feel like some of you guys just have really attractive brow bones I know that's kind of random but you know it's always those little details of the bone structure that really make someone beautiful and I just feel like you guys have it I'm seeing a beautiful jaw as well and a really nicely shaped nose so I feel like yeah you guys just have a beautiful Beautiful structural face um, like the bones of your face are really good and I always think that's like the ultimate flex to be honest like because you know you you can do a lot of random stuff nowadays but you can't really mess with the bone structure that much so yeah I just feel like you guys are super super duper attractive but um, yeah there's so much beauty coming through with you guys I feel like you know you guys just always seem like you guys are exuding Venus energy in some way. So there's, that's also some Libra and Taurus energy, but there's a lot of beauty surrounding you guys. There's a lot of beauty around your whole vibe, around everything you do for yourself. I feel like with vase and jug, you guys might even have a beautiful home or just decorate yourself really well. Like you guys might, uh, you know, go the extra mile with your outfit or just always put together a beautiful outfit. With all this sign Leo energy, you guys definitely exude center of attention, main character energy. So this is just, yeah, like a, I totally see why a lot of people are fantasizing about you. So let's spin the Astrodice and see what the Astrodice has to say about you guys. So we got Venus, 10th house, and Sagittarius. So wow, I can, like I was just mentioning, that's so funny when that happens, but you guys have a ton of Venus energy. You guys just have a lot of magnetism. So again, that could be Taurus or Libra. Um, second house is highlighted as well in the seventh house. So you guys might have planets in those houses, but you guys are just exuding a lot of beauty. A lot of people are drawn to you because of your physicality, just because of how physically beautiful you are. And also Venus is the energy of wealth, of money, of abundance, of, you know, nice, beautiful luxury things. So again, people perceive you as someone who has a lot of that in your life, who goes to nice upscale places, who's always looking on 10, who may have, you know, hair, nails, um, makeup done at all times, or if you're a masculine, maybe you're that guy that always has a beautiful smelling perfume or not perfume cologne. Um, or like, you know, maybe you do a really great job with your hair or you keep your body looking really good. Um, but I feel like this pile really takes care of themselves and really makes an impression on people. And people are just like, wow, this person really does a great job, like making sure they always look gorgeous. So 10th house has to do with career. We already mentioned that. And that is ruled by Capricorn. So it's also public perception since we already covered how your career is on on fire. I don't want to, you know, go on and on about it. So, you know, we already established that, but 10th house is also the midheaven. It's also how other people perceive you. So again, a lot of eyes are on you guys and that just makes you more of a prize. That just makes more people want you. And that's why you guys have so many admirers. Like I said, you guys are giving off the vibes of like a hard to get into club or like a, you know, a country club that people are desperate to get into because they, they know it's so exclusive, something like that, like where there's a wait list and where there's multiple people scrambling to get in, like just something about about, like the exclusivity of you guys and then finally Sagittarius which okay there's so much fire energy in this reading like I said Aries Leo Sag so 
definitely giving off a fiery energy like you will put someone in their place and you will school them if they step out of line you will you know bop them back into place so um, Sagittarius is also love to travel so this heavy travel emphasis throughout the pile uh, other cultures at play other I feel like you guys are just very open you're always learning Sagittarius also has to do with higher education so highly educated is how people perceive you and also as someone who's always interested in something new like Sagittarius rules philosophy. It rules, you know, higher learning and like deep thinking. And so again, even though you're exuding all this Venus energy, there's also this level of intelligence. And this is why people just can't forget you because you're not just one or the other. You're everything. You've got it all. I'm hearing I'm every woman, which I don't even know if that song's about that, but it's like you guys just, you bring everything to the table. So I feel like, again, you're that person that someone could bring home to mom, but you could also be really exciting for them when you're got your one-on-one -on -one time in the bedroom trying to keep it PG but yeah you guys just have everything you got the conversation you got the looks you got it all and I feel like you guys are intimidating you are a little bit of an ice queen but a lot of that has come through hard-won wisdom that you might have been screwed over by some nasty type of people and so you guys are being a little protective of yourselves looking out for yourselves and making sure that you're not trusting you know Mm, like loser type people you know what I mean you're not going to trust someone who has it out for you and is like a hater you're just you have your radar up and I feel like that's a really good thing and I feel like people respect how you look after yourselves so I really hope that helped you guys let me know if it resonated in the comments I love hearing from you guys I love hearing your thoughts your stories and everything so let me know what you think make sure to give it a big thumbs up as well and make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on those notifications and if you want to see my additional readings, including my 18 plus readings, you can check out my Patreon link in my bio for that and see those additional ones over there. I'm sending you guys so much love and light and I'll see you back up for another reading very soon. So I'll see you then guys. Bye. Well too, so if you guys picked this beautiful blueberry cake, this is going to be your reading. So there's a cute little blueberry on top and a little cashew as well and a beautiful mirror glaze. There's a ribbon decorating it on the side. To me, it looks like it would be a cheesecake. It's nice and soft and squishy. And then there's a little sign that says chocolate sauce on top. So I'm guessing maybe the inside is filled with chocolate or something like that, but it looks super good, super delicious. So if there is a chocolate surprise, it would definitely, I'm sure be tasty. However, it would taste but anyway let's get into your cards guys so we got the ace of cups ace of pentacles king of swords wheel of fortune nine of pentacles and three of cups so i feel like first of all your person or or th these people multiple people are wanting something fresh and new with you i feel like you guys have a very fresh energy about you something about you guys feels almost like young and unassuming like you guys aren't jaded by the world you know like you guys have a very fresh view of things with the ace of cups and ace of pentacles i just feel like you haven't been jaded you guys feel somewhat happy-go-lucky or like you expect the best about things like you're not um an energy of like an older person who has you know been through the ringer and is expecting the worst you guys just seem like you try to see the good in everyone I feel like with the ace of cups you guys are very emotionally supportive towards most people you guys might be empaths or just offer a lot of emotional support to those around you um, I feel like with the three of cups you guys are a lot of fun like when you guys are going out or hanging out like you guys might be the life of the party and just be a blast and just you know be fun to hang around you give a lot of emotional support to the people around you with the wheel of fortune that is that represents Sagittarius so you guys might have some Sagittarius energy in you um, and Sagittarius is very lively um, always has a joke always has something exciting going on I also do want to pull some music for you guys so let's see what the music um, cards say that represent pile two so we got endgame Taylor Swift style Taylor Swift maybe you guys are Taylor Swift fans <laughs> Um, no one's gonna love you by band of horses. Okay. That's actually a romantic song. It's not like a, <laughs> a horrible song saying no one's gonna love you. Um, so hot you're hurting my feelings, Caroline Polachek, and turn to white she to him. And I'm being told to take one more 
So we got Everlong by Foo Fighters. So maybe some of those songs might mean something to you or just they sum up your vibe. So honestly, um, I feel like for some of you guys, an X is popping through. I know some of y'all hate that and you're like, stop coming into my readings, but I can't control what's coming through. So I have to channel it. And honestly, I feel like there's people that want a fresh start. That's kind of what No One's Gonna Love You by Band of Horses talks about. The actual full lyric is No One's Gonna Love You the Way I Do. So it's not like saying No One's Gonna Love You, but it's like No One Could Love You More Than Me because I just love you so much. So I feel like this might be an X or something like that. Um, I feel like, again, Turn to White is kind of about like the very early stages of love to me or like, I don't know, it's kind of like a summer's day vibe. You know what I mean? Like when the sunlight is very beautiful and kind of white light and everything is just kind of gauzy and dreamy. That's what that song represents to me. And I feel like you guys have a very dreamy quality. Everlong kind of has that quality too. So does like style. I just feel like there's something about this pile that's like my dreamers, maybe my manic pixie dream girl pile that just sees like the whimsy and the beauty and everything. And so I feel like people fantasize about you because it's like you have kind of a fairy type quality you know what I mean you see the order the extraordinary in the ordinary you guys are that type that will stop to smell the flowers and actually smell them and actually be like oh my gosh roses and I feel like the way you view the world it's almost like through rose tinted glasses and it inspires enthusiasm in others because they see how like enthusiastic and you know how excited you are about everything and it makes them feel excited too um and again, with Three of Cups and Endgame, that video is all about like them jet setting all over. I don't know if some of you guys have a really active social life or have a lot of friends um, and you go out with them, but it might not be for everyone, but I just feel like you guys are kind of like a party when you're around. Even if you're not a loud person, I feel like, again, your energy was just kind of playful, a lot of fun. Um being around you is kind of like a joy and it inspires joy in others. And I feel like it's almost like people see you as like a vacation, but there's definitely an innocent quality to a lot of you guys. I almost feel like some people fantasize about like corrupting you or something, not in a like horrible way, but just like, you know, um, there's a like, there's a lot of attraction to like how kind of innocent you guys are and how like um sweet and like trusting and like kind you guys are because I feel like you guys are very kind very loving but I don't know I do definitely feel like some of y'all in this pile have exes that are still hung up on you and are still very focused on you and would like a fresh chance and you know the wheel of fortune can talk about like that wheel of time moving so maybe they're like okay we had our bad period where the wheel of fortune was reversed now it's time to come into the luck that might be a king of swords person it might be a man who's very decisive and you know the king of swords can be kind of like stoic like not necessarily the person that's like as in touch with their emotions I mean the king all the king cards are mostly positive but you know um this is just the vibe I'm getting so maybe some of you guys with you get, being very whimsical and very like open and you know stopping to smell the roses um and then they're kind of like stoic or something like that, or they're not as in touch with their emotions and you brought that out. And of course, remember, if you're like a masculine asking about a feminine, all of these things can be reversed. So take what resonates and leave the rest. But like, honestly, I'm getting vibes of like the plot of like a John Green novel or something. Like, it just seems like that typical masculine who's kind of like out of touch with his emotions and the feminine that makes him aware of it. And you know what? It's a very archetypal love story for a reason, but let's get more cards, you guys. So we got Yang. TikTok, yin, never ending story, and clean it up. Okay, so as I'm talking about archetypal masculine and feminine, yang and yin pops out. Like, you can't make it up, you guys. Um, there is like a very strong, I feel like, love balance here. And I feel like a lot of you guys are very aligned on either side with like your masculine or feminine. So that's one of the reasons why there's a lot of polarity in this relationship. There's a lot of like, I don't mean to turn this into a relationship reading, but y'all know I have to channel like there's a lot of you guys if you're the feminine being very feminine or the masculine very, being very masculine. And I feel like there's a lot of people that would like to come back and try things again with you. I actually feel like a lot of people in this pile have multiple exes or multiple people from their past that it didn't work out with that think of them as like the one that got away. Um, you might not even think of all of them as like at all the one that got away. Like you're like, uh, 
weren't you in my math class? I don't really remember you. But it's like you guys make an impression on people because you are so sweet. And also you guys are so loving. I feel like you guys are that type of person that would go out of your way to help someone, go out of your way to like give them your math homework or, you know, try to brighten their day. And honestly, some people might catch feelings as a result. People might be like, oh, they're really into me because they totally like helped me with my homework or they totally stayed late after work to like help me with this project or they, you know, gave me their lunch when they saw I was hungry and they don't realize that that's just how charitable you are. You guys are just loving, sweet types of people. So um, they might have like projected that there was more than there actually was because I feel like you guys have a lot of admirers, but a lot of people that don't want this story to be over with never ending story. And they're trying to work on themselves to come back to you. But we are not trying to turn this into a relationship reading. But I feel like a lot of people fantasize about this healing energy you guys have. And this innocence you guys have. Like there's this very sweet, I feel like archetypally feminine vibe coming through of like someone who is like a very loving, almost mothering, I want to say, kind of vibe of someone who is like almost that emotional caretaker like that you know soft place to fall like if if they're stressed or they're having a rough day they know they can come to you and be like I'm so worried about this like what do you think and you guys will give them that loving sweet advice you guys are that like open-hearted um kind person that will always give them the support that they need so I feel like this person or these people fantasize about like coming to you and like what it would be like for you to like I don't know I'm seeing someone holding someone's head like not in a gory way but like cuddling them you know like someone laying on a couch and putting their head in someone's lap and the other person just kind of petting their hair or something like I know that sounds creepy but you know just like very loving type energy I feel like people fantasize about getting to receive your love because it feels very pure very overwhelming like you guys aren't a typical kind of shallow person that's just in it for yourself you're very giving to people and so they would love to be on the receiving end and that's very attractive for a lot of people and I do think they fantasize also with the nine of pentacles which we kind of skipped over but like that talks about luxury and easiness and like you know um just a life of abundance and so I feel like a lot of people would love to step towards you with that um and be able to give you a lot of nice things and I feel like again you guys are very innocent and kind of like take joy in small things so you would be that person that if they gave you like a beautiful necklace you'd like jump up and down and be like oh my gosh this is so beautiful or like that's what they imagine with you like you would be the perfect person to receive a gift because you see the beauty in everything so anything they gave you you would be happy about and I feel like that just makes them want to give you gifts more to see like your reaction so we also got the divine masculine and chivalry and yin yang I mean you can't make it up like spirit really is wanting to bring in this message of the yin yang um, I also want to pull some other cards but yeah let me pull some other cards about features and then we'll talk a little bit more about these um, but let's see some features that people admire about pile two we got well-educated alternative rich pale Okay, maybe some of you guys look like that, or you might not. It's okay. Silent type, family oriented. You guys definitely seem family oriented. And we got popular and big reader. I can definitely see big reader vibes. I feel like artist vibes just in general. Um, touchy. Okay, people definitely fantasize about touching you. Good with kids and ambitious. Not a surprise at all. You guys are very good with kids and would make a great like parents or a great, um, you know, figure for a child to look up to because you guys are so sweet and loving. But let's talk about these cards. Cause like I said, a lot of you guys have masculines or maybe you are the masculine, but I don't know, like message for my feminines is a lot of you guys have masculines that are very obsessed with you and want to step towards you and come correct. You know, they, it's almost like your, your softness brings out their desire to step up, brings out their realizing like, Oh gosh, I need to be better at this. You know what I mean? You're soft open heart maybe some of you guys got treated badly by this person or they never stepped to you fully with their full power but it's like I feel like a lot of them have reflected and now they have fantasies about like coming towards you um with like a beautiful offer and being like listen I've improved myself I've worked on myself I'm good at this 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 I've taken care of that with myself like there's so many people that just dream about what it would be like to be with you and have fantasies about aligning themselves in the correct 
you know, way so that they can be in this yin yang because these are like puzzle pieces that fit together, you know, and so they balance each other out. And it's like this person would like to be able to balance you. So maybe you're the masculine, maybe you're the feminine here, but there's a lot of polarity in this. So whatever side you fall on, this person's very attracted to the polarity, to how, um, how much you are aligned with like that. Like if you're a masculine, I feel like you guys would be very stoic and very, um, you know, driven to achieve and um, very giving and loving in your relationship in like a steady way. And if you're the feminine, I feel like you guys are, you know, very beautifully enchanted with the world and very giving of your love and your emotional energy and very dreamy energy. So Either way, like the whoever you're picking up on is really vibing on this. And I feel like a lot of people honestly fantasize about this group in particular because, again, I keep getting fairy energy. I keep getting that you guys are that type that would go outside and dance in the rain or smell the flowers or lay down in the grass. And you see the beauty in a sunset and you see the beauty in the clouds. And you guys would, you know, wear a flower crown or you would listen to music all the time and you just take delight in everything. And I think so many people are drawn to you because of that, that like you. You guys kind of are a little bit of a heartbreaker, but you're never trying to. You're not actually like trying to make anyone fall in love, but they just do. You're just kind of minding your business, but that's what ends up happening. So yeah, I think you guys have this effect on a lot of people, but let's get more cards. We got ask for help, wisdom, and believe in magic. So like I was saying, there's like a magical component to you guys that I feel like it's not just even like you know, actual literal magic, like some of us in this community, you know, get involved with, but it's like just the magic of life, the beauty of life, like you guys seeing beauty in everything that happens. Um, and I'm hearing that song, Do You Believe in Magic? And I love that song. I forget who it's by, but it's like that old song. And it's like, do you believe in magic in a young girl's heart? And that sums up the vibes here so well. Um, I should add that to my song pile so we can have that come out for you guys next time. But it's just like, I feel like you guys have a very youthful way of looking at things. Um, if you're the feminine, if you're a masculine, maybe not, but um, maybe this is the other person, but it's like you you see the world through this beautiful, whimsical lens. You see the possibility in every moment. You see the wonder of like the sky. And I just think that so many people are enchanted in that. And there's a magic to you guys might have some magical powers or be psychics, intuitives, spiritual, that kind of realm. And you guys, I think are very wise. I think you guys are like my healer pile. Um, because I think a lot of people actually are, I don't think this is conscious, but I think they're subconsciously attracted to you because they know you could kind of help them because you guys are so wise, so spiritually aligned and so giving and so pure that if anyone would help them, it would be you. You guys would probably go out of your way to like help anyone. You guys would be that person that would like, you know, give the shirt off your back to anyone and, you know, maybe donate to a soup kitchen or just, yeah, you guys are very spiritual and very aware, I think, of karma. And all these cards we got are like about family oriented and about, um, also, I feel like, again, whether you think of yourselves as like unpopular, I feel like actually if you did like a survey, a lot of people would like you. A lot of people would be like, no, I really like them. Like, I don't talk to them that much, but like, they're awesome. They're so nice because you guys are very kind. You guys are very sweet. And so even the people that don't know you that well, they have a good opinion of you. Like they see you in a good light. Um, so even if you're like, well, I'm just kind of quiet and I keep to myself, it's like, they know that you have this soft, pure heart. You know what I mean? And maybe you aren't the loudest or maybe you're not always gonna like force yourself to be the center of attention. But either way, people notice like your sweetness, your beautiful insides. And so, yeah, there's so many people that are just very drawn to you as a result of that. Um, I feel like you guys have way more people like aware of you and noticing you than you would ever guess or ever consciously say. So anyway, let's get more cards. So we got animals, forgiveness, blessings, healing, and home. I think you guys would make a great homemaker, at least my feminines here. Or if you're a masculine, maybe you would still, you know, be great at like providing a home or whatever. But I don't know. I just feel like a lot of people, like you guys are definitely kind of like a dream partner for a lot of people. Like they're just like, wow, this person would be the best person to be married to. They would create such a beautiful family, such a beautiful household. And I feel like, again, this, like I said, you would take the shirt off your back 
back or you would help animals like you guys just have healer sweet energy and yeah healing like you guys just I think a lot of people honestly would like forgiveness from you or wish they could reconnect with you I feel like you are actually the one that got away for a lot of people maybe even people that never shot their shot like they not might not have ever stepped towards you and given you an offer and been like I would like to date you or anything but it's like they had you on their mind they were very attracted to you they did think about you a lot but you know I think a lot of people you know hate getting vulnerable and putting themselves out there and and getting themselves ready for rejection I feel like a lot of people dream about your touch a lot of you guys have a healing touch so even just like honestly I feel like for a lot of you guys it's not as risque as other piles because so much of the dreams about you guys is like your whole thing like waking up next to you making you waffles or you making them waffles and you know um like playing with your hair or like you know the way you smell or um you just you know in the kitchen like cooking dinner or ordering a pizza or like just like domesticity things like very like um just homey like relationship stuff you know like once you've been in a relationship for a few months vibes not necessarily that like instant passion type thing I feel like it's a lot deeper when it comes to you so people feel like I feel like you guys have a healing touch you guys might actually have like healing hands some of you guys might be able to kind of heal with your hands you guys can try to um you know look up ways to do that and stuff but yeah I feel like you guys just you give blessings to a lot of people see you as a blessing and I'm hearing that line from ASAP Rocky which is just to kick it is a blessing and that's how a lot of people feel about you um so it's like dating you being around you is a huge privilege and people see that and understand that so we also got shark dark woman we also got pale so we got dark and we got pale so either one is covered <laughs> we got vine we got vase eyes or eye beetle may moon and hat maybe some of you guys have cool hats or beautiful hair um so yeah all complexions are covered here i feel like um you know with vine what's seeking out what's coming to mind is like something about the way you guys wear your hair for some reason. I don't know. I'm just keep hearing that your hair, there's something beautiful about your hair or a hat you wear or something you put on your head that people are very drawn to and find very beautiful. And your eyes are super beautiful. The eyes are the windows of, to your soul. I also feel like something about your guys' cheeks. Like some of you guys have really full cheeks and it's very attractive. It's very cute you guys are like cute you know what I mean you're also beautiful but like you're cute like I feel like people just want to like wrap you up and cuddle you like there's something about you and again keep in mind this can be flipped it can be um reversed it could be if you're the masculine they feel very cute around you because you feel very like protective um very you know strong or something but that's what's coming to mind for a lot of you guys is something about your cheeks is just very very attractive I feel like you guys give off a vibe of like a forest nymph or just very connected to nature um um, and you guys might be involved with animals or something because we have a lot of things having to do with nature, moon energy coming through again. And as I mentioned, you guys have a mothering vibe. So that moon is related to cancer and cancer is the mother of the, of the zodiac. So you guys definitely might be um, giving off cancer vibes for sure. And with secret admirer, like I said, a lot of these people didn't have the strength to step towards you, but they've noticed you. And a lot of their fantasies are honestly pretty sweet. Like I was preparing myself for anything but honestly it's like a very deep respect a lot of people have for you like they don't want to hit it and quit it this is not one night stand type energy at all I feel like people they would want more from you like you're like an addiction like a one night would not be enough type vibe you know this is like wifey this is not one night stand or hu hubby like not um just like oh thanks anyway moving on like they wouldn't be able to move on even if they tried so um yeah let me get some astro dice as well for pile two so we got venus we got aquarius and we got the 10th house so that's really interesting venus energy comes through really strong here um so that would be libra or taurus so you guys might have those signs i could definitely see either one especially libra but taurus as well i'm also seeing pisces here i'm also getting the vibe of cancer here um 
coming through for sure. Um, no other, I mean, maybe a little Virgo I'm hearing as well. Um, but anyway, so 10th house relates to Capricorn. It's a house of how other people perceive us on our midheaven. So again, I feel like a lot of people's eyes are on you. And same thing with Aquarius. Aquarius relates to the 11th house, house of other people, house of like acquaintances, and also house of hopes and dreams, interestingly. So there's a lot of people who have their eyes on you. And I feel like a lot of people who have you as like a hope and a dream, you might be like, why can't I stop thinking about this person? Because they're thinking of you all the time. They're trying to manifest you. You're like a hope, an ultimate wish dream for them. When they blow out their birthday candles, they're thinking of you. They have you on their minds. And again, with Venus coming through, like you guys just give off a Venus loving, sweet energy. Like you guys, some of you guys might have an exalted Venus, like Venus um, in Pisces or something like that. But you guys just seem like you're so loving. Like you guys would be so forgiving and always see the best in people. And I feel like it's just your energy feels like a warm, beautiful hug. Like people who, you know, I feel like so much of the time people have to put on these masks and relationships. They have to pretend like they're a certain way because they know the other person won't be okay with them if they were fully honest. And you guys are the opposite of that you truly accept people for exactly who they are and you are so non-judgmental you guys are so loving so sweet so understanding and I think that that just comes like second nature to you guys but I feel like your guides and the people around you like that are coming through in this reading like you don't realize how intoxicating this is and how many people just would dream of getting to be able to spend a lifetime with you. Like I said, you're kind of addictive. Like one night is not enough. Um, one vacation would not be enough, but I definitely feel like they, they dream about a fresh start. A lot of these people are dreaming about something new, restarting something and just getting to feel, I'm hearing, I want your sweet love and emotion is it devotion or emotion but either one they want either one from you they're down with either they'll take whatever they can get but yeah there's something so sweet about you there's something so truly loving exalted beautiful here i just love this energy and i can see why so many people are thinking of you are in love with you because you guys are intoxicating and give off this vibe of true genuine love so wow how beautiful what a gorgeous pile this is so i really hope that resonated pile to let me know in the comments if it did and make sure to give this reading a big thumbs up as well and make sure you have notifications on and are subscribed and if you want to see more of my readings including more of an r rated 18 plus what are their fantasies you can head over to my patreon link in my bio for that but I will be back very soon over here for another reading. I'm sending you guys lots of love and light. Have an amazing day, guys, and take care. Bye. Hey, pile three. So if you guys picked this orange cake, this is going to be your reading. So to me, this looks like it would be maybe orange or maybe mango. It says chocolate on the card, so it might have a chocolate center, um, which I know works really well with orange. There's a dollop of whipped cream on the top and a mirror glaze, beautiful orange topping and a ribbon on the side. So I'm sure if you saw that in a pastry shop, it would just be so delicious. I'm sure you would just want to buy the whole bunch. But anyway, Let's get right into your tarot, guys. If I can get this to focus. So we have the Star, Temperance, the Hermit, Eight of Cups, Ten of Swords, Five of Swords, and Nine of Cups. So with the Star leading off this reading, I feel like you guys honestly are kind of like a fantasy lover like even though this is what do they fantasize about like you guys are kind of that ultimate fantasy type of person like you guys I feel honestly conjure up a fantasy in a lot of people as someone who could like change their life and I'm hearing change your life by Iggy Azalea and you know how she says like once you go great you never go good and that whole reading is like or that whole song is about like once you live life with me it'll be so leveled up it'll be so amazing it'll be such a dream that you'll never go back and I feel like people see you and you almost seem like a dream honestly I feel like this pile just inspires fantasies in people because you guys have some kind of magnetism or charisma that you're naturally kind of the center of attention. So a lot of people end up projecting on you guys and kind of imagining a life and fantasizing about 
what that would be like. So maybe that's why Iggy Azalea, that song is coming up because it's, you know, it's all about like, this is a dream life. And once you try this, you'll never go back. And that's how people feel about you is like, wow, that would be like 10 out of 10, like dream scenario. If I could be with that person, it would just be unbelievable. I feel like a lot of people maybe dream about stepping back towards you guys with the temperance card. They may have like not been able to have the courage to be able to step up to you in the moment moment or maybe there was a breakup or there's just people that dream about coming back towards you like I didn't have my chance then but I will later um and with the hermit I feel like you guys are perceived as being very exclusive like you guys are not just out there looking for company desperate for someone to hang out with you guys are very selective and it's like you enjoy your own company so you're not just hoping and wishing and praying that someone's going to come into your life and make it worthwhile because it's already like a dream. You guys feel like you're kind of self-sufficient. Like you guys already have a lot of your own confidence. You're not like that needy energy. Honestly, I feel like this is one of the reasons why people are so drawn to you. And with the eight of cups and 10 of swords, I honestly feel like, like I said, you guys inspire this fantasy in a lot of people and it might just be in needy people too, like people who are feeling desperate about their lives, like someone who's in 10 of swords energy and is looking for a solution you know how like there was a lot of movies in like the 80s and stuff about like a married guy who was bored with his family situation and he would meet like this woman who was like so exciting and he was like willing to risk it all for that chance with her because it was like she was like an escape from his boring daily routine that's the vibe that I'm getting from this pile like you guys have this charisma and it's like an escapism thing it's like you guys are that fantasy I know this is a fantasy reading but I that's the word that keeps coming to mind for you guys in particular is you really are like the whole stereotype of a fantasy like you're like Marilyn Monroe bombshell type energy or Audrey Hepburn or um you know Elizabeth Taylor but there's a level of glamour here there's a level of like specialness outside the norm like of course everyone's gonna fantasize about you know their partner or something but you guys I feel truly are like the archetype of that like there's something extra level about you guys where a lot of people are fantasizing about this a lot of people are drawn to you and a lot of people dream about being with you and with the nine of cups you know you honestly might have people that fantasize about getting you a little bit tipsy or something which doesn't surprise me because I do feel like again there's this exclusive um, vibe about you that you're not needy you're not desperate so maybe people assume like oh they'll never talk to me unless they're drunk or something like that um, or if I use some shady way of getting into their life with the five of swords so it's like they might just assume like oh I'm gonna have to kind of sneak in there somehow like I can't just come in and be honest about like I really like you I have to you know be like oh you know by the way I actually love frozen yogurt too would you want to go or like you know that's like a small lie but whatever like the, they feel like they have to kind of not directly approach you because there's a lot of intimidation and like with the eight of cups I feel like a lot of people dream about maybe using you as an escape from their life like leaving behind honestly I know it sounds bad but it's not your fault but like leaving behind a relationship that they're bored in because you seem like that escapist fantasy there's something about you guys that just inspires like they must be so amazing to be with they would take me out of my boring life so i also want to get some music for you guys so i love this little cup it's so pretty so can we get songs that sum up pile three's vibe and energy okay we got ldn by lily allen bluebeard band of horses we got Every Little Kiss by Bruce Hornsby. Okay. And we got Jealous, Chromio. That makes a lot of sense. Underneath it all, no doubt. And finally, we got So Happy I Could Die by Lady Gaga. So I feel like there's a lot of travel emphasis here too. So LDN by Lily Allen, which is about London. It doesn't surprise me. Um, Bluebeard has this lyric that's... Um, call that's like 
I met you in a railroad station now years ago. And that's kind of what comes to mind for that song. Like, I feel like there's a lot of people that reminisce about you or think about you or they're in a relationship now or, you know, it might not even be someone you were in a relationship with or super, super close with. It may be someone you just had math class with. I don't know why I'm having trouble with those words, but it might be someone that you, you know, just knew in passing. But I feel like a lot of people fantasize about you. And like, honestly, again, I don't want to make anyone feel guilty, but maybe compare their partner to you because you're like this escape route, mental escape route for them. Like they get bored with their life and they flash back to you because you guys just seem so glamorous and wild, almost like an untamed animal or something, not to sound weird, but you know, like you can't, I guess you can, but like you're not supposed to really lock up like a lion or, you know, like a really exotic animal that's just like meant to be free. You know, that's kind of like you guys, like a stallion that you can't tame or something like that. So I feel like maybe there are people around you who get into relationships because they're like, oh, they would never be down for a relationship. They're too independent. They're too hermit mode. Um, and maybe they always intended with temperance to come back later, but now it's like that time has passed and they reminisce and think about you guys. With Underneath It All, that song is all about like the intimacy of really knowing someone. And I feel like a lot of people honestly fantasize about, you know, what you guys have underneath your clothes, <laughs> how you guys look when you're at your most vulnerable. Again, you guys seem to be conjuring up a vibe of a lot of glamour for me. Some of you guys might have elaborate makeup or do your hair really well or just have a lot of beauty in how you dress. Um, but even if you don't wear a ton of makeup, because I'm guessing this, I'm getting that this palette could go either way. There's people in both groups, but either way, you make quite the impression on people. Like people are just stunned by you guys. You guys either are natural beauties or you present as very beautiful based on how you, you know, a, put on attire or makeup or whatever. But either way, you're quite the stunner. So I think a lot of people wonder about what you really look like, kind of stripped down, laying in bed, like, you know, PJs on kind of vibe, like, you know, chilling with no makeup on as Drake said like I feel like there's a lot of people that just want to see you honestly because they know that so many people are interested in you that they would love to be that one that gets to see you like that um, and so you guys probably inspire a lot of jealousy in people that's for sure and you know that song is all about like a woman that always is having her drink spot for her that's like one of the lyrics um, to that song uh, I, I can't remember the exact line, but it's about like, um, you, whenever we're going out, people are always buying drinks for you. They're not coming from me. So it's like all about how this is a very desirable woman that lots of people are looking at. And that's definitely your vibe. And finally, with so happy I could die. I also feel like Again, with the self-sufficiency you guys exude, you just seem like you're very happy with your lives. You don't seem like you're desperate or wanting someone to come in. So we got Come to the Edge, Change in the Wind, Chaos and Conflict, The Fates, Community, and Happy, Happy. So a lot of happy emphasis. People perceive you as being very happy in your life, very okay with yourselves, very... Um, very good life. Even if you feel like you're not happy with things, people perceive you as having a pretty good life and that you seem positive, happy-go-lucky, upbeat. So with Come to the Edge, I feel like you guys inspire people. Like I said, it's like you guys really do a number on people who have these very boring lives. Like maybe you guys have some kind of unconventional thing about you. Maybe you have an unconventional career or lifestyle or way of dressing. I don't know, but it's like I feel like it's almost like people who want to like, quote unquote, I'm hearing escape the matrix. So people who are just maybe stuck at a nine to five or they got married really young and it's kind of boring. I mean, no offense to anyone who had that happen, but people can get married for all kinds of reasons. Sometimes people find their soulmate when they're like 19 and God bless if that's the case. But then of course, there are some people that just kind of just follow what their parents want for them and get stuck in a relationship that they're not happy with. And I feel like for those people, they're kind of a magnet towards you. Like people that are in relationships that they're just doing because it was expensive expected for them or they're just living life the way that was expected like cookie cutter okay I'm gonna follow this path they see you as like this beacon like wow this person's doing it differently or if I was with them they because you guys march to the beat of your own drum so much I feel you guys don't care as much what other people think of you and people get that um, they get that you're very like into your own desires and into your own self in a good way like you're not trying to appease anyone or trying to figure out what other people want from you you are very aligned with like your destiny and so because of that I think a lot of people that would want to make a change they view you as like this exciting possibility like 
open road to a new kind of life for them. Like if I could be with them, wow, life would be so much more interesting. Um, with community, I feel like, again, this group attracts a lot of attention and that's just coming through over and over. So many people are aware of you guys. So many people have crushes on you. And I think that just adds to the appeal because it's kind of like, you know, when you find out like everyone is watching a certain movie and you'll be like, okay, I wasn't interested in that movie, but I'll go there. Maybe you already were interested, but then you hear like, oh, all the showings are sold out. And you're like, okay, I'm definitely getting a ticket then. I definitely want to be able to get in there. So I feel like because so many people are aware that you have this magnetism and that you have this effect on people, like I'm hearing a lot of people talk about you. I'm hearing like a group like talking about like, oh my gosh, like, you know, Amelia is so hot or something. Like I feel like you guys might not be aware of this, but there are discussions about you guys in social groups about like how you guys look and your vibe and like people finding you very attractive I don't want to go too into it because some of those discussions may be a little risque but definitely people are talking about you guys um yeah there's this like faded thing with you where um people feel like you could kind of change their destiny like if they could be with you whatever they're stuck in their routine and this boring life that they've signed up for suddenly they could be whisked out of that into this amazing glamorous thing and i almost feel like people fantasize about fighting with you guys and like having disagreements because that's kind of part of the appeal like um you know how I'm seeing the video for like We Found Love by Rihanna and like in that video they're like fighting like half the time and then they're like making up half the time and I feel like people fantasize about like again kind of a chaotic quality to you but not in a bad way but like the the fantasies they have is like you know um making up and breaking up and like you know make up Fight or fighting, making up, like coming back together, like this kind of dramatic relationship. But again, this is something they like in you because a lot of the people who are drawn to you feel very bored, feel very stuck in routine. So the idea that you guys bring is like this kind of really welcome disruption. Someone who is not just stuck in like a super boring nine to five and just, um, very predictable. You guys are unpredictable. You guys are that partner that will always surprise someone, that will always have something new going on, new happening in their life. And I feel like there's a lot of people that crave change, that are desperate for that kind of energy, that that really want that. So let's get more cards. We got creativity, inner peace, and the divine feminine, which I was not surprised at all when this card came up because I'm definitely getting some divine feminine healing vibes for you guys. And that comes through with the inner peace card as well. I feel like a lot of you guys have a kind of high priestess quality. There's this in, innate dignity you kind of have, like where you're very unflappable, I feel like, in this group. Like this is where I think people might have a hard time sometimes understanding you. And with the star, that can be Aquarius. And I am getting some Aquarius, um, or that is related to Aquarius. And I am getting some Aquarius vibes here where you go outside the norm. You're not stuck in like, okay, this is expected of me, so I got to do it. And I feel like um, a lot of that comes from this inner unflappability. Like you're not just, you're not bothered if someone doesn't like you or if someone has a problem with you, you guys stay very aligned with yourself. You're kind of following this inner path. And a lot of that comes from your connection to spirit. A lot of you guys do have psychic abilities and you're able to psychically challenge channel even in your creative abilities. And a lot of you guys are very creative. You might dress creatively, you might dress unconventionally or just wear whatever you want, dress in a creative creative, artistic type of way. Um, and so because of that, a lot of people sense this kind of healing quality, sense this high priestess, creative cups quality coming from you where um, maybe their job is very like basic um, kind of, what is it, right-brained, mathematical or like by the book and you inspire them to kind of look outside of that. So I don't want to talk too much about that because we already covered some of that. But yeah, there's this healing quality that people sense like this person could have an amazing effect on my life and help me heal this stuff. So we got inspiration and shine from within. And with inspiration coming out, it reminds me of the creativity card. I feel like you guys have inspired a lot of people, maybe creatively, maybe to do like creative projects. Maybe some of you guys have had like stuff written about you, whether those are songs or like writing or photographs or whatever, but there's like art that people are making about you guys. Like you guys um, conjure up capture people's imaginations, make them really dream and think about you. I feel like a lot of you guys, a lot of people see you as like a muse, as someone who, um, 
it's just so outside the norm of the realm of what's normal kind of like a manic pixie dream girl like i feel like in those um stories it's always like this guy who's kind of living a boring life and then like this beautiful very unexpected very outside the box woman comes along and kind of shakes him out of that and that's a very divine feminine archetype because um the divine feminine is supposed to be intuitive it's supposed to be a little chaotic actually um feminine energy is kind of innately chaotic whereas masculine energy is innately kind of orderly so anyway um you know, I feel like you guys feel that ideal. Do you feel that ancient archetype of someone that has a lot of destructive power, but in a very positive, alluring way? So I, I'm not saying destructive in a bad way. We need destruction just as much as we need creation. We can't have only one or the other, or, you know, the world would be like completely built up and there would be no more room. We need to destroy things once in a while. And you guys have this kind of ability I feel like in a way sometimes to cut people to the quick like I feel like you guys also see through a lot of people you're very intuitive and you're a very good judgment of character so I feel like sometimes you might find people lacking you know what I mean like maybe you've had people come to you and want to date you and you're always being like no you're not really good enough and you might feel bad about that sometimes like you know what I'm I'm too harsh on this person or like you might have friends that are like I can't believe you turned him down like you're so mean he was so perfect or something but that's actually a gift you kind of give to people because you help them see themselves through a much deeper lens and because you guys um are so in tune with that side of yourselves it's like you're 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 opening up a window for them of possibility and helping them see themselves in a in a deeper way and to take risks and like you know it's kind of like maybe you don't get into a certain restaurant but you smell the smell outside and like it smells so good and you can smell the steak or the whatever cooking and you're just like oh, I want some of that and you go up and ask for a table and they're like we have no room today so maybe you don't eat at that restaurant, but you go down the street and find another one and you're like, you know what? I really wanted that steak and it inspires you to seek that out. You know what I mean? So I feel like don't feel bad about being a little bit discerning with people because that is part of your gift. So I want to get more qualities for you guys. So we're going to pull from these quality cards. So can you tell me qualities that are perceived or fantasized about pile three? So we got nose with a bump okay um we got ski slope nose okay so you could have either of those family oriented so that's interesting because these are like well shuffled but the two first cards that came out are about the nose so i'm guessing you guys have a pleasant nose however that is so we got health conscious popular you definitely seem popular well educated family oriented close to family good cook I feel like you guys would make great parents and that's one of the things that's coming up attractive very attractive and you guys again like you seem a little bit like even though alternative that's for sure even though you guys seem like you're very sweet and nurturing i feel like when you don't know someone that well you may be that person that kind of um is not like the warmest and fuzziest to someone who like you don't know that well but people can sense that about you like even though at first you might kind of brush people off or be like hard to get um hard to get super close to because i feel like you guys like i said you're a little bit discriminating about who you're around like if you're not feeling the vibe you're not going to hang out with someone but after someone's in your inner circle i feel like you guys are so nurturing so loving and this is probably where people pick up on these healer vibes because you are that person that once someone's in your inner inner circle you will do anything for them you're so protective you're so loving you're so kind and a lot of this is divine feminine archetypes so maybe some of you guys are you know well educated we got freckles tan skin there's something very cute and just attractive about you guys but i feel like there's more it's more glamorous than cute even some of you guys that do have like a very cute face it's like you also have this aspect of glamour to you you have this aspect of changeness i'm almost wondering if some of the people in this pile have a very prominent Pluto placements that could be Pluto aspecting the sun Pluto aspecting the moon Pluto aspecting Venus since this is related to love um, Pluto in the first house or an eighth house stellium or maybe Scorpio 
dominant Scorpio placements, anything like that would definitely be the energy I'm picking up on because you guys feel like you really change people's lives. There's something about you that is like a tower moment energy all the time, altering people forever. Like they meet you and there's something about the way they interact with you. Pluto, Pluto, Mercury, I'm hearing as well, or Scorpio, Mercury. Um, there's something about you guys that just alters people. They interact with you and it changes them forever. Even if it's a quick interaction, they never forget you guys. So yeah, and don't feel like that's a bad thing. Don't be like, oh, I can't believe I changed them. No, no, that's your destiny and that's your purpose. You're supposed to be that way. And that's the gift of Pluto is to alter. And they're supposed to do that, to alter people's lives and inspire them to shake out of whatever they're, they've gotten used to. So we also got passion. We got reconciliation, travel, and dreams. So I definitely have been picking up on this travel vibe. You guys got London by Lily Allen. So, you know, I feel like a lot of people dream about traveling with you. Um, a lot of people dream about like, I feel like you guys just exude a glamorous lifestyle. Even if you're not living it now, there's something like high end about you guys. There's something that just seems like you guys would be that person that would be right at home in a foreign country. No matter how bougie it is, you'd be right at home in first class or at a fancy restaurant or you know at a cultural setting or an opera house like you guys just seem like you really know how to conduct yourselves and also you have an adventurous quality so you'd probably be okay at the opera house but also like backpacking through bali or you know um doing something a little more like natural outdoorsy i feel like you guys are just very brave there's a lot of braveness here and so people are very invigorated by that but also here we have reconciliation and dreams i feel like a lot of people dream about you think about getting back together with you i feel like you guys have exes that have never moved on from this pile for sure like you guys are definitely the one that got away you guys are definitely that person that they think about like oh gosh what if i had ended up with them you know they're so amazing i feel like like, there's so many people with passion so many people that fantasize about you and you know what you're like in the bedroom you guys just seem like you are that person that would be very I feel like I'm getting like soul vibes in terms of how you are in the bedroom you're not disconnected from your body either you have a lot of divine and feminine or if this is a masculine watching you can have divine masculine energy for sure and just you know reverse the polarity with the descriptions um, but you guys have a lot of um, passion and like it's related to your spiritual side. You're not just going through the motions with your body. You're connected to your higher self. You're connected, you know, to your upper chakras, not just your lower chakras. So you're able to really bring a spiritual dimension to bedroom activities. And I can't talk too much about it because, you know, we got to keep it PG for YouTube. But if you want to check out more of me talking about this, I am, I do have a video I just posted on my Patreon about um, fantasies. It's going to be a little more are 18 plus rated so you can check that out but I can't say too much but you definitely inspire a lot of passion in people you definitely inspire a lot of desire in people so um there's this quality to you that honestly so many people fantasize about you I feel like pile three is my pile that like you guys I don't want to say get the most fantasies of anyone but I'm just sensing a lot of people fantasize about this pile like a lot um you guys inspire a ton of like crushes and stuff like that. So let me get more cards. So we got vine, we got frying pan, older woman, a wall, dog barking, mice, shield, carriage, throne, and grasshopper. So I feel like a lot of people want to learn from you. We got older woman and we got grasshopper and that always reminds me of teaching. And a lot of people put you up on a pedestal with throne too. Like I feel like some of you guys may be dating people who are younger or whatever, or just you seem spiritually more ascended, like a spiritually older age. Like you're just spiritually more older in your age in terms of being very advanced so there's a power dynamic in your relationships where you're kind of in charge a little bit like you guys kind of call the shots because I feel like a lot of people want to learn from you a lot of people are like very invigorated by this deep spiritual knowledge you have and so they put you up above themselves they consider you to be on a higher plane than them and I feel like they really like that although some of them may fantasize about you know we got vine and I'm getting like channeled message of like someone being tied up or something like that which again I can't talk too much about it because we're really trying to keep this video you know 
very PG, but I mean, so that's all I can say, but I feel like sometimes people fantasize about maybe reversing that power dynamic a little bit with you because you guys just seem so in control of yourselves and so like smart and aware that sometimes they kind of want to flip that around and like they, they get to call the shots for a moment. But yeah, people are very, very invigorated by you. And again, with frying pan, I feel like they like the kind of drama you would add to their life. I don't know if you guys would call it that, but I feel like a lot of people love the fact that there's something about you that like is untamable and I'm hearing can't be tamed by Miley Cyrus. So there's something about you guys that they just can't you know, fully locked down or fully control. And I think that that just really inspires people. So let me get some Astro Dice for pile three. So we got Uranus, we got the sixth house and we got Capricorn. So with Capricorn, that one is about the 10th house. It's related to Saturn and 10th house is all about, um, you know, someone's public reputation, their public image. And again, I feel like a lot of people think about you guys. A lot of people um, fantasize about you. You guys kind of have a little bit of a public platform. I feel like a lot of you guys, a lot of people are very much um, aware that you have some kind of a position, even if it's just within your school or within your workplace. A lot of people are like, oh, this person's the center of attention. Um, then we also got the sixth house, which relates to Virgo and the house of health. I feel like a lot of you guys keep yourselves very healthy. And also Virgo is again, a healer. So again, there's this healing quality, healing energy that you guys give off. And finally, we have Neptune. So Neptune is the sign of Pisces. You can definitely get some Pisces vibes vibes here, very dreamy. Um, Pisces are also very like tend to have commitment issues a little bit, very hard to catch, kind of slippery. They are the fish, so they'll slip away from you when you're trying to get close to them. Um, but they also have this dreamy, elusive Neptunian quality that's very um, head in the clouds and very like um, creative and kind of feminine. So yeah, this is definitely some Pisces vibes for sure, but I could see a lot of signs in this pile, but this is what you guys conjure up in terms of fantasies for people. I feel like a lot of people are dreaming about getting with this pile. You guys are the star. So I feel like a lot of people feel like you would transform your life. And I keep hearing that line from Iggy Azalea, once you go great, you never go good. You never go back, even if you could. Like if people could get with you, I honestly feel like I keep seeing those movies like Fatal Attraction or something where someone just, you know, they give up their whole family and their whole life to get with this like glamorous star of a woman like who's just like this, you know, femme fatale. I feel like people see you like that. So, wow, this is a very powerful car pile. You guys have a lot going on, a lot of desire directed at you guys. So I really hope that resonated you guys. Let me know if it did in the comments. I love hearing from you guys and make sure to give this reading a big thumbs up as well. And I will be posting those videos on my Patreon. I already posted that. So go ahead and check out if you want to see the 18 plus version of this reading and and make sure you're subscribed over here as well and have those notifications on if you want to see more of my videos over here. I'm sending you guys so much love and light and I hope you all have an amazing day, guys. Take care. Bye. Hey, Paul 4. So if you guys picked this blue cake, this is going to be your reading. So this looks like it's a black cherry flavor to me, although it could be raspberry. It has this beautiful ribbon on the side, a mirror glaze on top, a dollop of whipped cream underneath the cherry, and a little note that says good times. Hope you can enjoy this delicious dish. So I love that sweet little message. I love this cake. If you saw it in a pastry shop, I think you'd definitely want to purchase one. It looks so good. But anyway, let's get into your card. So you guys got King of Wands, Five of Wands, Three of Wands, Eight of Swords, The Lovers, and Page of Wands. So a ton of wand energy, which is fire energy. So fire signs, Aries, Sagittarius Leo could be covered in this. You guys have a fiery energy coming from you. And I feel like a lot of people are invigorated by your energy. I feel like a lot of people might fantasize about kind of that fiery energy things like enthusiasm, creativity, like, you know, you 
maybe daring them to do something or you doing something kind of reckless or going out dancing or taking a risk or you know what I mean I feel like you know I'm thinking of those movies where like a shy quiet boy meets like a wild girl that like dares him to jump off a cliff or something you know what I mean I mean that sounds kind of crazy and like dangerous but you know she's encouraging him to like take risks and be bold and like pull a prank on the school principal or something you know what I mean like go outside his comfort zone and I feel like that's something you guys bring forth in people is like there's this like energy you guys carry with you and you inspire people to push themselves a little bit further than they thought that they were ready for. Um, they might even like the fact that there seems like there could be a little bit of like conflict with you at times with the five of wands. It may be that they kind of like this heat, this passion, you know, like a relationship with you doesn't just seem like it's like, going to be super calm and super easy. And you're not going to be just like, can I make you a pie? And I'm just going to dote on you. You guys seem like you're a little bit feisty. You'll have something to say. And I feel like that inspires a lot of enthusiasm and passion in people. So I can see that a lot of people have a lot of sexual desire for you with the King of Wands coming out and the lovers. So it's not just sexual, but like you inspire this kind of um, fiery, like passionate, you know, I feel like you could make a lot of people jealous, to be honest. Um, you could make people kind of act crazy or act possessive of you with the five of wands. Maybe usually they, they're pretty docile, pretty, you know, um, easygoing, but with you, it's like suddenly they, uh, find themselves being more possessive or being more, um, wanting to know what you're up to because it's like they just see you as being such of this kind of force of nature like they just imagine and fantasize that you have all these options that you have all these people after you that you are just this magnet for people so I feel like a lot of people they might also want to reroute their plans with the three of wands maybe they are like you know what I want I had this plan for my life but I want to replan the things I had intended I want to actually go in this direction and maybe you kind of make them recalibrate or question like am I on the right path should I be doing this instead I feel like you kind of wake a lot of people up from their life with the eight of swords like maybe they had felt very lost very limited like they were stuck in a certain way and you kind of help them take that blindfold off and realize all these possibilities so I want to get some music for you guys to see what songs sum up your situation. I love this cup, by the way. Um, so we got Crying in Public by Chairlift. Okay. I Will Always Love You, Whitney Houston, One Track Mind, Chromeo. That's a very sexy song. Okay, we got Bluebeard, Band of Horses, Cardigan, Taylor Swift. Oh, wow. I can totally get that vibe for you guys. And finally, Rehab Rihanna. Wow, that definitely sums up your vibe. Rehab by Rihanna is really sticking out to me for you guys because that song is like an, about an addictive love, like not a run of the mill love where everything's chill and everything's calm, but like one of those loves where the people are kind of fighting and there's so much passion. And she's like, I know I should leave. I, you know, it's not the, the most um, quiet type type of like calm balanced relationship it's it's very fiery there's a lot of sexual attraction that keeps people coming back even when they're like I don't know if I should but they keep coming and I feel like for you guys that's what you bring to this person or bring out to a lot of people is like it's almost like an addiction it's like they they didn't they, you're not that calm relationship that's just so easy for them. And I feel like they like that. They like the challenge in you. And again, the sexuality is coming through really strong in this reading. I have to keep it PG. Um, although I do have my like 18 plus reading posted over my Patreon of fantasy. So if you guys want to see that, you can check that out. But this is like a relationship that honestly is or, or desires or fantasies people have are very, very sexually intense when it comes to you, like very sexually intense. But there's also a lot of emotion here with the lovers, with I will always love you, crying in public. Um, and I love the what's coming to mind from the lyric from Cardigan is I felt like an old cardigan until you put me on. And that's not the lyric, <laughs> but um but that's basically what she's saying is I felt very ordinary. I felt like everything was just run in the mill and kind of stayed and old until you came into my life and saw the value in me. So I feel like a lot of people, you attract a lot of people who have kind of a boring um, old life and then you bring this excitement and passion for them. So I want to get more cards. So we got a change in the wind, thinker, a leg up, 
deep knowing and time to go. So again, this energy of change, time to go, like disruption, but in a good positive way, like you guys are a good kind of a change, a good disruption. You're, you're waking people up. You're kind of that wake up call that makes them realize like, you know, I'm really not happy in this job or in this relationship. And I feel like a lot of people, I feel like you're the type of person that, you know, you, it's like you say what's on your mind or you speak up about issues you care about, or you're very passionate about certain things and you bring a lot of enthusiasm into your life. And so because of that, it's like you inspire that in other people. So they feel like they see the passion in you and how you live your life. They see the fact that you guys don't do things you don't want to do. You're always stepping into like what makes you feel good and, you know, doing the things that really call to you. And because of that, it makes them want to do the same. I feel like with Thinker, a lot of you guys are very deep thinkers. You're very highly intelligent. And it, there's almost like an aspect of you guys being a little bit challenging to them. Like, I feel like you're that type of person that, you know, might call them out. You might be like, you know, I totally disagree with what you said or like, wait, rewind to that. That doesn't make sense. Or, um, you know, actually I have a problem with when you mentioned this. And again, they like that. They like this feistiness. They like that you're not just this easygoing, easy to figure out type of person. And there's a deep level of intelligence, but you're also willing to say what's on your mind. You're not just like intelligent in a super nerdy way, although some of you might be, but you're also ba backing that up with like the energy that you're willing to go into fight if you care about something. You're willing to put yourself on the line when something matters. I feel like some of this pile. I don't know. I'm getting like social justice or maybe you guys are just very um, politically involved in certain things. Or if you have a passion, you're that person that's going to tell everyone like, hey, you need to pay attention to this. But it feels like you guys are just more almost alive or awake than the average person. Like you're not... Um, just clocking into your job that you hate and then leaving and you just are kind of mindlessly consuming, it feels like you're very invigorated. I'm seeing the image of someone splashing their face with like cold water. So it's like, I feel like you guys are that a splash of cold water that awakens someone that makes them realize that they've kind of been asleep and that they're actually not as plugged into their life as they thought. And so meeting you invigorates people. It can come as a bit of a shock. So I could see for some people that when they meet you, they're kind of actually like might react negatively or get triggered, but it's actually a huge advantage to meet you and have you kind of weave your magic on them because you give them a leg up. And you guys, I feel are also very ambitious and people perceive you as that. So there's this sense that being with you, like the competitive way you are in all aspects of your life, you would also apply that to like the bedroom, to be honest. And I can't get too into it because we do have to keep it PG, but it's like you guys would, um, you know, be a go-getter in the bedroom. You guys would like, I feel like people have these fantasies that you are just that person that would, you know, be going above and beyond, I'll say. Like, you guys would be super enthusiastic and you're probably, um, like I said, very fiery. And fiery has a lot of sexuality. Fire energy has a lot of sexuality woven into it. So you guys are like, I'm hearing Best I Ever Had by Drake. Um, so it's like you are that person that probably knows what they're doing in the bedroom, or at least this is what people fantasize or imagine about you, is that, you know, you always know your way around things. Um, and so it's like you have a natural talent and charisma for that. And maybe this is why there's so much desire and kind of sexual competition for you. So we also got manifestation, connection, and boundaries. And what I think is interesting about you guys is you have that sexuality, but you guys are also really good in relationships. You're not necessarily that person that is, you know, Com commitment phobic or um, or just a complete loner because I feel like a lot of you guys, you're good in relationships. You know how to make a relationship work. You know how to talk to someone. You know how to have those quiet couple moments and you're actually very supportive of a person once you're in a relationship with them. At first, I feel like you guys are pretty feisty and you might be like um, a difficult person to deal with. You know what I mean? <laughs> Not always, but it's like maybe at first you're that kind of person. Like a lot of Aries um, placements or or, um, fire placements in general, Sagittarius, Venus, Aries, Venus, they're known for being very flirty in like a competitive way. So, you know, they might joke around with someone and be like, um, as a way of flirting, come up and be like, oh, really? You did your hair like that? Or like, hey, I bet I can beat you in an arm wrestling contest or something. And someone might at first be like, what the heck? Like, why is this person challenging me? Like, maybe they don't like me. But, uh, but I feel like, 
even though you have this competitive aspect at first or this fiery kind of like bold challenging aspect once you get to know someone and once you're really romantically in with them you're very extremely loyal and a great partner and very like loving and sweet and also you guys are that partner that I feel like um would like this is just coming to me um or at least this is what people imagine of you guys or fantasize about, that you would be that partner that if they brought the wrong dish in a restaurant, you would like ask to have it be sent back. You would be the one to speak up and be like, excuse me, you got them the wrong dish. You need to like um, fix this. You know what I mean? This is what people imagine about you. Or maybe they want to be that for you because I could see either side of this with the king of wands. But again, there's this fire threaded throughout this reading. There's this boldness. I feel like a lot of you guys are that person that really lives life to the fullest you guys are that those people that like don't just spend the day wasting away you guys take things and step up and push push yourself as much as you can if that makes sense so um I, I think that's one of the reasons people are so drawn to you is just this excitable energy where you guys are very plugged into the things you like and you're really unafraid to step towards them and also with boundaries. I'm getting some people are fantasizing about kind of like putting you in your place or I don't know, I, I don't want to say anything too crazy, but um, you know, maybe it's like they perceive you as being so powerful so they want to see you in like a different position like where you're a little more, um, what's the word, timid? <laughs> maybe submissive in the bedroom or something like that where you know you're always this force of nature but then they get to see the different side of you and so I feel like they have fantasies around that again I can't get too much into it but if you want to see my 18 plus version you can check out my patreon but yeah I feel like a lot of you guys come off as someone they would kind of love to see them in the control position once in a while because you seem so in control most of the time that it's like they want to see that role reverse but a lot of people I feel like have been trying to manifest you and they view being with you as like a sign that they've kind of made it like it's like if if they can get with you because I also think there's this aspect to you guys that you seem a little bit bougie you seem like the type of person that wouldn't just date Joe Schmo next door you wouldn't date someone who didn't bring anything to the table you have high standards for yourself and you have high standards for the people that you're dating and so because of that you just seem like they need to be coming correct and if they do get to be in your life that means that they've really accomplished something they've really done something um, so we also got hidden depth and solitude so again even though you guys have a strong fiery energy there's also this level of intelligence coming from you guys um, and I feel like a hidden soft side I feel like a lot of people see you as kind of like so strong and almost like disciplined or there's a lot of rigor when it comes to you. There's a lot of strength. And so a lot of people might not see that soft, hidden inner core that you have. But actually when you're like with your kids or or your family or your friends or I'm hearing your pets, your dogs or cats, it's like you guys are the softest, sweetest, most lovable person and you guys will be so loyal and do anything for them. And I feel like a lot of people can tell that and they know that you would just make that great partner that like would always have great conversation in the hotel room. Like I feel like a lot of people fantasize about traveling with you, like waking up in bed next to you in like a beautiful location or something like that. And they fantasize about like how you talk, like you, you know, getting room service with them and like just chatting because I feel like a lot of you guys have interesting things to say. You guys have a very intelligent brain. And I feel like a lot of you guys keep up on like current events and you're very aware of different things going on. You have a lot of like assorted interests. You have, I feel like you guys are those people who have like random bits of knowledge, you know, those people that just would do really well at like trivia night or something, or just like randomly are like, oh, I watched a documentary about the Civil War last night, or like, oh, I saw this ghost busting documentary, or just like listen to random podcasts. You just know a lot about a lot of different subjects. So I feel like a lot of people are fantasizing about these deep conversations with you about like getting to know you more and seeing that different side of you. So there is the sexuality aspect, but then they also dream about like that pillow talk afterwards, you know, and like seeing you, um, 
you know, at your kind of vulnerable side. Um, so we also got solitude. So there is this aspect that even though you are, I feel like most of the people in this pile are like relationship people that do really well in relationships and thrive when they're with someone. There's also this aspect that you guys aren't afraid to be alone. Like you're not just someone who's like desperate for a relationship. You guys come off like you're independent. And like if someone isn't going to stick to your high standards and uphold that and like come to that level, you're not going to accept them in your life and so because of that a lot of people I think um, again see you as a prize you're not just some desperado you know just desperately hoping and praying that someone's gonna stumble into their life and you'll accept anyone you guys are not gonna accept someone unless they are meeting you at your level and so people know they have to level up to be with you so I think that adds to the desire because it's kind of like a prize like I guess like if you were competing for a trophy you would want to get that that Olympic gold medal like that's gonna mean more to you than you know just like the local like one school competition you know so you guys would be like that Olympic gold medal in a lot of people's eyes because you're just you have such high standards for yourself and you also have high standards for the people around you especially like your partners um, I feel like people have fantasies about you know taking you on glamorous trips or taking you out to like a really glamorous um, nice upscale dinner like impressing you in that way because they would want to see that look on your face that approval would mean a lot to them seeing your eyes kind of widen and you'd be like oh my gosh wow you really did it really nice this time oh wow wait you have heated seats and we're going to i don't know my favorite restaurant or whatever this is or like wow this kind of a car they just would love to see that kind of reaction from you because it's like Again, this would feel like a big accomplishment in their eyes. So let's get more cards. These are just personality trait or different trait cards that I made for another video. But let's see what else people fantasize about you. Gets jealous easily. See, I told you guys, a lot of people are jealous or there's a lot of like suitors around you guys. Full lips. I could definitely see that. Funny. Straight nose. Pale. Okay. That might not be everyone, but in great shape. I could definitely see that. Introvert. Wealthy. Rich. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like I was saying, there's a level of bougie here. There's a level that when they come to you, they need to have accomplished something. You're not going to be rocking up to the all-you-can-eat buffet with the $5 coupon and, you know, just going to go for a free walk in the park afterwards and dumpster diving. Like you're not okay with that. I mean, that sounds like a really horrible date for anyone, but especially for you guys, you guys need that extra level of um, a little bit of a higher treatment is how people perceive you. You know, you, there's a level of affluence kind of surrounding you guys. And so I feel like, um, you know, that's part of the fantasy. That's part of the appeal is because it's kind of like, you know, someone might have a crush on like, say, Doja Cat, period, because she's obviously a very beautiful woman. But the fact that she's also this famous superstar probably adds to it. So if for some reason, some random guy got a date with Doja Cat, it would be like, of course, a big deal, just her, how she looks and like her energy anyway. But coupled like now that she's like world famous, I'm sure it makes it even more like crazy and exciting. And that's the kind of vibe with you guys is because there is like a leveled up presence to you guys like you guys just seem like you have high standards and so because of that um it's like a, it's like a status symbol to be with you you know it's it's a proof to them that they've done something that they've accomplished something that they've come pretty far in life so there's a lot of pride around being with you and that's a major part of your appeal i feel like also the intelligence is coming through or the fact that you guys just again i I'm feeling like it's like discriminating vibes. Like you're not just going to hang out with anyone. Um, obviously, I'm not talking about discriminating in terms of like bad, like nasty discriminating. But like in terms of like, I'm going to be a little more picky with who I hang out with. And if you're not on my level, I'm not going to hang out with you. Um, like you need to be my type of person. You need to have my kind of ambitions. Like I feel like you're not that type that would just suffer fools gladly or just be around dumb people and just you know, accept them as they are. Like, I feel like you guys keep your circle small and you're not interested in just being around someone just because you're desperate and lonely. So 
yeah, and there's a lot here, like good with your hands, um, great lips and great shape. Again, a lot of sexuality in this reading in particular. I feel like you guys particularly inspire the sexuality in others, the sexual fantasies. Like there's a long list of people that are definitely having you on their mind during their bedroom moments. We'll say that because again, we got to keep it PG over here. So we also got prosperity good luck, animals, family, and empowerment. So like I said, to your animals, family, and your close inner circle, you guys are so loyal. And I feel like people can sense that this loving energy that radiates from you. So even though you may come off sometimes like, you know, you're tough or you're hard or in some ways like, oh, this person, um, you know, I can't believe she called this person out like that. She's so mean. People might think that, but it's like, actually, you're so soft. You're so sweet. And one of the reasons why you would call someone out is because you're protecting someone else. Like you guys are super protective of the people you love. And that's why, like I said, maybe you're usually shy, but like if the waiter brought the wrong thing for your little sister, you're going to be like, no, no, you need to get it right. Like bring it on back. And so you guys are inspired by this loyalty you have for others. You guys, that that's a huge part of this is people can sense your loyalty and they want to be on the other side. They fantasize about having that love from you that they know is so special and you don't throw it around to everyone. Um, so again, with the prosperity, I don't want to go on and on about it, but yeah, like major bouginess coming in through here and good luck that also relates to Sagittarius energy and also Sagittarius has to do with travel I keep getting travel images like I feel like a lot of people are fantasizing about taking you out to like a nice Paris hotel room and like spoiling you a lot of people want to impress you and they have fantasies about impressing you I feel like you're just perceived as someone who has a glamorous life like already I feel like a lot of you guys might have a cool friend group or you're on the track to that or you have like a beautiful clothes or when you go out you just look really good and so it's like people want to be seen with you people want this to be public they want a lot of people to notice that they're with you they don't want it to be like on the DL and kind of hidden and just the two of you um, because it's like there's you guys are empowered you know a lot of people are noticing your power and so again, it's a flex to be seen with you. It's a flex to be around you. And the, a lot of these people that fantasize about you, they want the world to know. So we also got grapes. A lot of people are fantasizing, I think, about getting you guys drunk. I'll say that. Um, it says time to go out and have fun. And I definitely think like seeing you a little bit tipsy is definitely a turn on for a lot of these people. Tortoise ring okay so people want to like actually lock you down and get married to you and we got family and again i feel like with your family and if you were a parent you guys would be so protective so loving go above and beyond to like look after the people in your life so a lot of people are fantasizing about locking it down and making it permanent and getting an engagement and making it a long-term thing crown turkey purse so, so much money, energy, valley, and hills. So, yeah, there's a lot of glamour in here. I'm hearing, like, the hills, you know, as in, like, the TV show. Um, I feel like a lot of you guys give off Leo vibes, honestly. Um, but it could be any of the fire signs coming through. But it's like, you are seen as, like, the queen. You guys are seen as a high-status individual. Like, if, you know, if this was medieval era times, you guys would be the queen or the princess or whatever. And so, um... Yeah, it's like the only person that gets to date the queen or the princess is obviously going to be like another high level king or individual like that. So that's why it's so statusy around you. Um, so yeah, there's just this huge interest in how you guys carry yourself and the strength you guys have. And again, a lot of the sexuality you guys carry around with you. I feel like a lot of you guys have a very beautiful body that people fantasize about. I feel like a lot of you guys have a very pleasant line to your body. Like I'm seeing an hourglass silhouette. Or if you're a masculine, maybe you have a very defined waist, like a V waist, or there's something about your body. Um, because for a lot of you guys, I am seeing some curves. Um, but it just seems like there's a lot of beautiful shape of however you guys look. It's very attractive. The body is something that they are just 
obsessed with and I feel like again we got lips I feel like a lot of you guys have very beautiful full lips um and your eyes I feel like a lot of you guys have kind of bigger eyes or full eyes something about your eyes is very bewitching you might have a lot of depth in your eyes a lot of you know depth of color where there's like it's dark in the middle and then it fades out or something like that um because it just seems like a lot of people get I feel like you guys have kind of fierce eyes like looking at you might be kind of intimidating like the cover of that National Geo graphic issue with the girl with those beautiful green eyes um something like that where like there's a strength about your look there's like a startling quality to when you look at them you might even intimidate certain people and I feel like a lot of people fantasize about gazing into your eyes across a dinner table having your undivided attention because that seems really hard one you guys seem like the type of person that if someone isn't meeting it you're gonna be on to the next or at least this is the fantasies people have about you so it's like winning your attention keeping your attention that that is a huge W and people are going to be so pleased with themselves and proud of themselves if they manage to be the one to get that. So yeah, like high status individual is what's coming through for you guys. So let me get some astro dice as well for you guys. What do people fantasize about pile for spirit? So we got the 11th house, we got Capricorn and we got Venus. Wow. That makes a lot of sense. A lot of Venus energy coming through. So 11th house relates to Aquarius and it relates to other people like acquaintances and large groups of people. And honestly, I keep getting a vibe of like, again, a lot of people's eyes being on you. There being a lot of jealousy. There being a lot of people who would also like to date you. And I feel like that goes into people's, um, people's attraction towards you. I feel like that goes into the way that people perceive you and the way that people um, think about you is like, wow, it again, status symbol. Like that, go that factors into the fact that they feel like it's such an accomplishment to be with you. The fact that they know that so many people are looking at you, would like to be with you, are impressed with you is a huge factor in them realizing that, like I said, they've got to step it up to be with you. So I think I called this Capricorn, it's Virgo, um, another earth sign. But anyway, so yeah, with Virgo, there's like a perfectionism to Virgo, precision. And uh, uh, that makes a lot of sense. It's also a very highly intelligent sign ruled by Mercury, also related to the sixth house house of health and like I said you guys tend to take good care of yourselves in this pile have a beautiful body and physical health but also Virgo is that perfectionist and that is definitely coming up for you guys is that you're perfectionist in your lives and so you expect perfect from your partner you're not going to tolerate some you know like run-of-the-mill old bum that just wanders in off the street you're going to expect someone to be their best and that they need to kind of level up and be their best version of themselves whatever that is to be with you so you inspire greatness in others because you have such high standards for yourself. That's what a big, huge part of your appeal. Like you guys are like hustlers, achievers. You get things done. You have an aura of success about you guys that you're going to accomplish big things. So again, people want to be on that. They want to be on that journey with you. And finally, Lib or I almost said Libra, Venus, which does rule Libra and also Taurus. And that is the sign of beauty. It is the energy of beauty of love. Um, so you do inspire a lot of love in people. It's not just sexuality. It's not just a physical desire. It's also that love energy. And like I said, once people get past that kind of outer shell you have, they get upgraded to the inner circle. You guys have such strong, loving energy, sweet, nurturing energy, protective energy. Um, and those relate to the second house of abundance, prosperity, money. So like that same energy that's been coming through and the seventh house which relates to relationships so this is yeah this is like all the bases covered I feel you guys um have a really lovely mix, mix of kind of hard and soft that tough outer side and then that soft inner core and I feel like a lot of people want to get upgraded from the soft outer side into that sweet little inner core that you guys have that's so beautiful so yeah you guys are on a lot of people's minds a lot of people would love to be with you guys and I can tell you inspire a lot of fantasies in 
people so powerful. I really hope that helped. If it did, let me know in the comments your thoughts and also make sure to give it a big thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed and have those notifications on if you want to find out next time I post. And if you want to see my 18 plus reading, definitely check out my Patreon. Link is in my bio for that about their 18 plus desires and everything like that. Um, and I will be back very soon for another reading. I will see you guys super soon. So take care of yourselves and have an amazing day guys. Bye. Hey pile four. So if you guys felt drawn to this green cake, this is going to be your reading. So this one is a, I think probably matcha flavored. It could be pistachio or maybe just star fruit. There's this beautiful ribbon on the side and a beautiful chocolate detail on the top. And it says for you underneath that. So a lovely little note. And then again, there's that star fruit on the top, a dollop of whipped cream, and just a lot of detail. If you saw that in a pastry shop, you definitely would be super impressed and probably want to buy the whole thing. But anyway, let's get right into your cards, guys. So you guys got Seven of Pentacles, the Hermit, Eight of Wands, the Magician, Four of Swords, and the Nine of Swords. So the energy I'm picking up on with a lot of you guys is there's almost like a quiet energy here. There's a quiet vibe. There's like keeping to yourself a little bit, which makes sense with the hermit. Like I feel like you guys feel like you're a bit of a mystery, hard to figure out. Like at first, someone might not get a hold of you. It almost might seem like you are someone who like kind of is a hard worker, but keeps to yourself. Like you're not going to be out partying and screaming and dancing on tables. You're going to be that person that is like, nose to the grindstone, head down, focused on school, focused on work, and maybe someone comes up and tries to chat with you and you're kind of like, oh, nice to meet you anyway. Like there's a mystery around you. There's a enigma quality about you. There's some something enigmatic to you where people might want to know more about you. They don't know you so well. There's a lot more to be discovered under the surface. And I feel that this creates a fantasy of like peeling back those layers, maybe literally or metaphorically, and finding finding out more about you and unwrapping that mystery. I think people tend to value mystery a lot more than when everything is revealed, right? Like that's why we don't go to like movies where it's just like the whole time we know what the secret is. Like we go to mystery movies because we want to find out like the secret surprise that like, oh my gosh, it was this person because there's something interesting about not knowing and then being surprised. And I feel like because you guys don't tell everyone everything about you and you're not, there's a, like a shyness to you. It's very attractive to very many people. There's a soft quality to you guys, kind of almost sleepy or dreamy with the four of swords coming out after the magician so it's like there's a dreaminess there there's like a head in the clouds aspect where you know you're here but you're also on the astral plane they might not know that's the word for it but they're like oh she seems dreamy she seems mysterious and i also feel like you guys yeah there's a spirituality here with the magician and there's also that you guys are going after certain goals and you're focused and i feel like a lot of that is attractive as well you don't just seem like someone who's um just kind of stuck in the moment like you know you know how someone just seems like they are what they are and maybe they're in a certain job and that job defines them and they'll probably be at that job for the rest of their life or they're at school and their school defines them there seems like there's a lot more to you. Like you're here, yes, but you're also working towards something in the future. And there's a lot of emphasis on that with the Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, the Magician. Like you're putting in work in something. You're trying to manifest something. And um, you're here now, but there's also like a forward trajectory towards like something new, something different. And again, I think that creates some intrigue because I don't think you're the type to tell everyone like, I'm trying to be this. I think you guys play it close to the vest. So people are like, what is this? Why? Why are they here but they're not fully present? They seem like they're they're after a goal um, and, and they're not as bothered by like the politics or the social dynamics that they seem kind of above that because they seem like they have their head on something else. Um, but there's definitely an emphasis on like sleep, I feel like with the Four of Swords and the Nine of Swords. I mean, Nine of Swords can definitely talk about like sleeplessness, whereas the Four of Swords, you know, is, is actually sleeping. But um, But both those cards can kind of represent different things. But I feel like or different aspects of sleep. But yeah, there's like a sleepiness, dreaminess, you know, that's kind of Neptunian. Um, 
that that's going into a sleep state vibe that you guys have like um so i think that yeah there's a head in the clouds dreamy quality to you so let me get some uh song cards for you guys so let's see what songs some of the fantasies people have for pile four wait for me holland oats daylight taylor swift always be my baby mariah carey Okay, there might be some X's popping through in this. It's all coming back to me now. Okay, Definite X Energy by Celine Dion, God's Plan, Drake, and let's get one final card. Infinite Arms Band of Horses. That's really dreamy. Money, Power, Glory by Lana Del Rey. Um, wow, so yeah, there's a lot of like softness here. There's a lot of dreaminess. I don't know, some of you guys might be poets or artists or something because I'm getting a very artistic, um, creative, Neptunian vibe from you guys. Very soft, very open to spirituality. Um, and, you know, I really feel like a lot of you guys have exes that think of you, which would also make sense with the Nine of Swords, where maybe they are like, like in the eight of wands it might be like that they feel like they put so much work in and they're like oh my gosh i can't believe i ruined it or just with the nine of swords where they're you know they're having late nights thinking about you and they are wondering when they're going to be able to come back to you and all those things um there's definitely a quality of wistfulness and reminiscing about you and you know wondering when you're when they can come back into your life and all of those things. So yeah, this person or these people, I feel like you might be the one that got away for a lot of people and, and they consider you someone that they intend to come back to. And I also feel like it's all coming back to me now by Celine Dion. I don't know if y'all have seen that video. It's like one of my top favorite music videos. I just love the aesthetic in it. And it's super like, uh, over the top, um, almost like romance novel esque. Like it's so, um, elaborate and it really looks like a, it's like kind of like a dream sequence like she's hallucinating and seeing her ex but anyway I don't know I just feel like you have an artistic quality I'm getting very Venus Neptunian writery energy from this like someone who is just super super creative artistic has an aesthetic that's very interesting so let's get more cards so we got co-creates deep knowing by the book and new life and as i'm saying writer we got by the book i feel like a lot of you guys might be readers or writers but it might be something where you consume a lot of art in some way it doesn't have to be a book but like it could be a netflix like you're always watching netflix or you're always watching tv shows or movies or you're always watching different um different things but your head is like very into creative inspiration and into you know maybe a dream world or a creative fantasy world that like like i said you're here you're present in the moment but you're also kind of imagining things in your mind you know and so i think that creates a lot of intrigue as to what's going on in your head and people seeing this depth to you people seeing that hey guys my video cut out but as i was saying i'm just getting a very kind of watery energy from this card so that could be pisces cancer scorpio but it just seems like there's a lot of creative energy flowing there's a heavy emphasis on the creativity on having this second life um, besides your you know active life being on this planet but also being in the other dimension so let's get some other cards so we got yin yang dating and forgiveness so a lot of people would like to come back and offer you some forgiveness and be like you know can i come back into your life you're out of their life and they miss you you know they would like to date you they would like to be back a part of you i feel like a lot of people feel very very much of a soul connection with you because there's a very soft soothing quality about you guys and a very warm receptive receptivity i feel like you guys make like a good wifey hubby type of person like you're not someone that they would want to hit it and quit it with you guys seem like someone that they really would want to get to know and like there's very few people that get to know you on that level and so again it creates this scarcity it creates this value to it i feel like a lot of people um they know that not everyone has access to that version of you and they want to be the one to peel back those layers and see that side of you and so they might dream about dating you i feel like again you guys would make a great wifey hubby long-term partner long-term you know um girlfriend or boyfriend or just someone that they really can open up to and like be their vulnerable side it's almost like you guys seem very non-judgmental i feel like a lot of people have fantasies about telling you everything you know about themselves like you just 
would he be the type of person to hear them and like, you know, understand them and be able to truly give them some healing energy because you guys are very plugged into the astral plane. You guys are very spiritually evolved and very deep and very loving that you would be that person that would be like a soft place for them to land and really open up to. And you just come off as someone who's highly non-judgmental. Like you are not someone who's paying attention to just like, um, I feel like the superficial things in life, like money or whatever, looks or whatever, like you guys just seem like you're on such a deeper level. You're kind of an old soul type of vibe. So because of that, I think a lot of people dream about opening up to you and having those kinds of intimate conversations. So people are fantasizing about the, that romantic aspect with you, but it's like less um, just purely sexual and more into the realm of like emotion and into the realm of like a deep long-term relationship with you guys. People are fantasizing about having those, you know, late night dinners or like I'm seeing like a candlelit dinner at a really nice restaurant, but like, you know, it's cozy vibes. It's not like just high end see and be seen and just kind of bougie for the sake of it. It's like they want it to be like soft and quiet and a fireplace and like, you know, a, a bottle of wine and um, very romantic, very intimate. They want those like deep conversations I'm hearing that line from Drake, which is like, I want your sweet love and emotion. I never know whether it's emotion or devotion, but either would work here. So it's like they want to see that sweetness that only you guys can give. I feel like you guys have such a nurturing quality that a lot of people are after it and fantasize about being on the receiving end. So we got believe in magic, protect your dreams and fairy spotting. I definitely could get fairy vibes from this pile. Like you guys just seem like you are that spiritual pile that has a very spiritual component to you and is very dreamy. You guys might feel connected to like the woodlands, the trees, the forests. Um, I could definitely see that for you guys because um, there's a gentleness here. And even though fairies can be very mischievous, I feel like you guys would be those fairies that would be more of the um, like calm, loving fairies and not the prankster fairies. Um, although you might have that aspect to yourself, but more like the fairies that would be like, you know, drifting off in the river or like chilling on a flower petal or um, playing the lute or something like that. You know what I mean? Like just these creative fairies. And I feel like a lot of you guys have connections to nature. You guys might love to spend time in nature or have a very earthy quality to you. I also feel like, again, with Protect Your Dreams, you're so dreamy. And I almost feel like like people have fantasies about how you look when you sleep. Honestly, I keep getting that and I think she's uh, sleeping in that and we do have the four of swords. So people might have fantasies of waking up next to you and then seeing your face. I feel like a lot of you guys have very beautiful faces, like delicate bone structure is what I'm seeing. Very delicate, very like precise bone structure, maybe high cheekbones or like a, um, a narrow nose or, um, like a very nice brow ridge, but I'm seeing like delicate features, you know, and I feel like it's like there's something very refined about you guys. There's something very, I want to say erudite, like it's, it's like you guys also have an airy quality and you did get a lot of sword cards, which represents air. So that can be Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius for sure. A lot of air sign coming in but I feel like there's something very magical about you guys and by that I mean you know like other dimensionals I'm getting some of you guys are connected to the Celtics or the Druids so um, you might feel connected to things like Stonehenge or ancient or you know ancient Britain or ancient Northwest Europe you might love like documentaries about that or historical stuff set back in that era um, because I'm getting a strong vibe from that era for you guys and I'm also seeing Eastern Asia so you might have also connections to those spiritual traditions and those spiritual realms you might have lived there in other past lifetimes but I'm, I'm feeling connections to those two places and I feel like you just seem like you have a vibe of someone who is here but also is like in other dimensions like very mystical very um very a lot of depth and history and old soul type of vibes and like high priestess type of vibes like um you might have been a priestess in those druid cultures or in some of the asian religious traditions um back in the obviously way back in the day we're talking like a very ancient energy here so um 
I just feel like a lot of you guys have some spiritual gifts and abilities and you kind of radiate that and that's why people see your healing energy but I feel like a lot of people do fantasize about like waking up next to you seeing you while you sleep seeing you kind of cozy I feel like there's people that really want to protect you with protect your dreams it's like there's something about you that they want to like protect and like hold you and um you guys seem almost a little fragile at times like there's a delicateness to you guys and anything that's delicate is beautiful but it's also kind of fragile and breakable right and i'm not saying you guys are breakable or anything like bad like that but i feel like this soft quality you guys have inspires people to protect you like they just want to like hold you and wrap you up in their arms and like never let anyone hurt you because you guys do come across as somewhat sensitive so they don't want to see like your heart get broken like it, it makes them want to step up especially my feminines in this pile like you really inspire the masculine to step up and protect you guys um i feel like you guys do have a lot of masculine after you for my feminines in this pile and for my masculines in this pile um you know it may be that the feminine wants to protect you in in a feminine way like you know the feminine is more the realm of the unconscious and um you know beauty and spirituality so maybe they want to protect you in that sense give you healing in that sense you know um but yeah i just feel like a lot of people are just very drawn to you and they they view you as someone very precious sweet and loving and they want to make sure that that stays so let's get some um quality cards different qualities we got thin lips okay but you might not have that i'm just just take what resonates and leave the rest. But this is like the vibe. Ski slope nose. That's definitely what I'm seeing. Well-educated, light-haired, bookish. Aha, uh -huh, 100%. Good cook. Gets jealous easily. I think that's more their energy. Okay, a bunch of these came out. High cheekbones, which is what I said. Long hair, totally. This sounds like a druid priestess. <laughs> like it sounds like the stereotype of one. Patient and shy at first. Okay, 100%. So again, with the physical features, especially only take what resonates and leave the rest because, um, you know, obviously it's a general reading, but this is the vibe and it definitely sums up this vibe so well. It's kind of what I'm seeing in my mind. Like I just feel like a lot of you guys come across, like I said, delicate, high cheekbones, um, something very um, precious and kind of fragile about your bone structure on your face but in a good way not in a bad way not like oh they look fragile in a horrible way like it just seems like people again want to protect you and there's something very like um i want to say elegant about the way you guys look like you guys look like um intelligent and educated and kind of high-end in a way i guess if that makes if a person can look high-end you guys look high-end and you just seem like you make a great kind of caretaker with good cook and shy at first you're hard to get to know you're not going to just be telling everyone everything there's kind of an exclusivity i don't think you guys would ever want to come off as like exclusive but you do people know that you're just not going to just tell everything to everyone um and so there's a kind of feeling of a reward when they finally break through those walls and get to know you like that so let's get more cards so we got commitment career protection and truth and compassion so like i was saying you guys inspire protection from people and i feel like there's also something protective about your energy like you guys just seem like you um kind of spiritually protect those around you like with your and for my masculines, you might just seem, you know, like you can give that physical protection. And I feel like with my feminines, there's something very divine about your energy. So you come across, like I said, the the high priestess energy like the high priestess back in the day even though she wasn't the physically strongest she had a lot of energy that was very intimidating and she could protect people and you know um on the spiritual plane so i feel like you guys just come across like that like you were that person that someone really wants in their corner and i also feel like that's because of your intelligence like you're the kind of person that you know so much you're so intelligent that they could come to you and be like listen i really need help with this problem what do you think and you would know exactly what to tell them you would help them, you know, figure out what to say to their boss or what to do for a project because there's a lot of intelligence here. And with commitment, again, this is not a hit it and quit it type of attraction. People are fantasizing about the whole thing. They don't want to just have you once and then, you know, say goodbye. They want it to 
to be for a long-term relationship. They're fantasizing about what it's like to like hold hands with you and go to the museum. I'm seeing, you know, art museums in my mind. I feel like you guys would be great in art museums and probably would know a lot or maybe you guys like museums and I'm seeing, you know, like I said, like going into a cafe in Europe and a lot of European energy coming through in this reading and you guys might be ancestrally connected there to, you know, or, or um, past life connected to there or something. I don't know because it keeps coming up, but I feel like a lot of you guys, you know, I could see you in like Paris. That would be a great city for you guys. It definitely fits the vibe, um, you know, at a sidewalk cafe talking with someone. Like I feel like they have these fantasies of that spending time with you guys not just in the bedroom they're very attracted to that but they also want like they want to like wake up next to you they want to have breakfast with you they want to have lunch dinner and spend the day with you you know what i mean you are not just a person that they can get to know in a day or in an hour or in a little 10 minutes you're the whole real deal so they want it all they don't want just a minute of your time they want way longer than that and i feel like also you know your career is coming through like i said Said, there's some ambition here where even though you might be in like a small town or you know a small country or I don't know whatever your situation or at a job that isn't that great it's like you guys just seem like you're on a trajectory because you guys are very focused and very dreamy to accomplish something big or to be moving somewhere better or to be pursuing your dreams you're not just bogged down living in the present moment of like this feels good to me physically right now so I'm gonna do it I'm gonna you know, just spend my day playing video games and waste my time. Like, I feel like even if you are playing video games, you guys are like also thinking about like a million things or you're playing video games that relate to your interests. Like if you like history or if you like, again, it keeps coming back to European stuff. It's so funny. Um, maybe you play like European history focused video games if you're playing video games or maybe you, um, you know, play video games set in fantasy worlds, but it's like either way, you're thinking, you're working, you're progressing, you're not just wasting your time. And so I feel like people can tell you're on this trajectory of building something or doing something. And, and that's very impressive for a lot of people. And of course, your truth and compassion is so inspiring. Like that's a huge part of this appeal. So we got rose, fox, butterfly, boot, apple, hand, wind chimes, tulip, bouquet, and grapes. So much floral energy in this. I didn't even know there were so many flower cards. Um, and like, yeah, a lot of Venus energy coming through. So I feel like you guys, again, there's a lot of, yeah, Libra, Taurus energy, just someone who's very beautiful. And there's a honestly kind of feminine quality here of, of, of being like in nature and being connected to animals and plants and being surrounded by beauty and maybe you guys smell really good like I feel like some of you guys you just have a really nice natural scent maybe you wear nice perfumes or just naturally smell good maybe both um, I also feel like you guys have really beautiful hands and we did get hands and like some gracefulness in your movements and I also want to mention that your voice is very beautiful like you have a very pretty voice um, for my feminines I feel like it's somewhat high pitched for my masculines and maybe very low but I'm hearing for the feminines of something very high pitched and kind of musical almost when you speak um, that I feel like really inspires people and just it, it's they could listen to you all day but there's I mean there's so many cards like apple rose butterfly tulip bouquet um, that I feel like conjure up like a beautiful garden in Tuscany or something like just just kind of like um, this how do I describe it like again like a fairy garden or a beautiful Venus filled, um, creative and inspiring and just like so pretty, you know what I mean? So something about that, like your aesthetic, I feel like is really beautiful. And I'm just seeing a garden in Tuscany, like filled with summer light and just like dappled on different flowers and grapevines and we did get grapes and like different beautiful food and that's just like your vibe I feel a lot of you guys just give that image of like beautiful natural beauty you know what I mean and with grapes I also feel like a lot of people are fantasizing to be honest about getting you guys a little tipsy maybe so you loosen up and like reveal because I do feel like you have this hidden quality but let's get some astrodice as well and find out more about pile fours people fantasy people's fantasies towards them so we got gemini then we got eighth house and we got venus so i keep saying venus aka taurus and libra 
And I am getting such a strong vibe of that Venus energy, that beautiful, romantic, love, feminine energy. Like I said, Garden in Tuscany vibes, just, just beauty everywhere. And Venus really is about love and, and all the good things in life. A little bit indulgent, but I'm not getting like overindulgence in this, in this pile. Just like surrounding yourself with beautiful aesthetics and beautiful things and dreaminess. Eighth house relates to Scorpio as well as Pluto. And again, I mentioned Scorpio earlier. Scorpio also has to do with sexuality. I do feel like you guys have a very earthy, beautiful sexuality that people do want to see. And the thing about Scorpio is it's very hidden. Pluto is all about hidden things and revealing truths. And again, I think the fact that you guys aren't the type to divulge everything when you first meet someone just makes people more interested in you. Um, they just want to know more and more about you the more you kind of don't tell them. They want to, like, like I said, peel back those layers layers, which is such a Scorpio Pluto energy. They want to reveal what is hidden and you know, what is kind of hidden away. So we also have Gemini and that's about communication. So like I said, you have a beautiful voice and people dream about communicating with you and finding out more and getting to know the hidden secrets that you guys often hide away from people. So that makes them all the more interested in hearing your story and hearing especially your voice, which again, I just feel like is very melodic. Um, so they really like love this idea of having conversation with you. You guys must be good conversationalists, even though I feel like you, you don't show that at first, but after they get to know you, you have all these beautiful ideas and you're great at, at speaking with people. So pile four. I really hope it resonates. Let me know if it does. If it does in the comments, let me know your thoughts and also make sure to give this reading a big thumbs up if it did resonate. And if you want to see my 18 plus, what are their fantasies reading? This one was very PG, so it was nice and easy for this one. But if you want to see my 18 plus fan, what are their fantasies video, check out my Patreon link is in my bio for that. And make sure you're subscribed over here and have those notifications on if you want to see more of my readings over here. But I'm sending you guys so much love and light. I will see you guys in the next reading. So take care of yourselves. Have an amazing, lovely day, guys. You deserve it. And I'll see you next time. Bye.